Hello there. Good day, everyone. Today we're back to Elden Ring after last episode gave us a lot of heart beating and sweaty action right up until the last moment, which was very nice. <laughs> I said, those are the moments you play this game for. No more potions, no mana, no HP. You can only take, I don't know, zero hits. You only have like two HP left and you have a dream to beat that boss. And in that moment, it worked out. We did mind the tale. And so we were able to continue onwards with our lives and be happy. <laughs> so, good day to you guys once again. So nice of you to tune in once more. And let's have some more fun today as well. Yozori, good day to you. Hopefully you're having a very nice Tuesday as well. Lots of fun and lots of good food for that hungry, hungry dragon maw. <laughs> well, well, well. Time to come back into the game. I was waiting at the grace and to bring that sound back up with that beautiful music <laughs> right at the point where we left off. All right then. All right, let me check. Ah, my flamberge is at plus 10. Very nice. I had forgotten during the last few days where I didn't play Elden Ring how far I've gotten actually. But we have a nice assortment of things laying around here. And there's still so much to do. Let's see. We did a few fun things in Kaelid, even though there's still a great many things left to do, like lots of them tunnels, for example. And also, it's it's funny that I didn't even like uh, do all the stuff in Leonia yet as well, so I'm not even sure I should go next. But since we're an evil dragon knight, I guess it's time to burn down another tree. <laughs> I want to see how much damage we can deal with our beautiful, beautiful uh, dragon breath to that tree boy. That isn't even as strong as the other tree boy we've already beaten. Hmm, let's see. Oh, should just be around here. Let's see. Catch flame. Okay, let's flame. There we go. We're gonna give this burning boy everything. Ouch. Guess we won't be full HP once we get them. But who needs to be full HP, right? <laughs> Guardian mask. Man, I'm still so, so positively surprised by how much stuff actually drops when you're going with an arcane build. And I don't even have that much arcane yet. Uh, we're on 26 arcane at the moment, and I'm just like, man, so much stuff is dropping. I love this. I should have played arcane builds more often, just for the sheer happiness of having more random stuff drop. German tanker Johnny 131 says, well, good, <laughs> guten Tag. Ich wünsche dir auch einen sehr schönen Tag. Hoffentlich geht's dir gut. Wie geht es mir? I'm doing well now that we're playing Elden Ring and having fun and also we are in the company of nice and good people. That always helps. Whoa. Archie. Not in the company of those evil shroom people though. Oh. Oh my god. Is that actually a real true Elden Ring crash? I don't think I've had that one in such a long time. Damn, boy. And I was like, <laughs> takes me back to the before time, the long, long ago. <laughs> oh, no. Well, guess we're just going to uh, restart the game then. Hmm, little bit sussy. Is that the work of Helldivers having a bad influence on Ma Elden Ring? Well, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. <laughs> but to be honest, my, my crashes in the past when I just started streaming were actually a hardware problem and not actually an Elden Ring problem. Or at least most of them, I would say. At the very least, those that were actually happening, uh, that 
oh, completely shut down my entire PC and not just the game. I'm, I'm, this is luxury to me, not having my whole PC shut down and instead just being having the game shut down by itself and me just being able to go on like nothing much happened. Wow, what a luxury. That makes me happy. <laughs> At the end of the previous session, Quit Game or Return, the desktop might not have been selected from the system in you. Very true. Let's see. I mean, we didn't really do much. We just killed a few shroom boys, so I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Continue onwards. All right. Nice. Not a lot of time was lost. Much appreciated. Ooh. I wonder if... Archie. I wonder if the trees can actually bleed as well. There we go, my dudes. Well, wait. There was still yet one more. All right, time for me to do my my uh, my silly business. And uh, let's see. I mean, this is theoretically this thing doesn't have a head and it doesn't have eyes and ears. But I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Right, if I go to the right, then I won't be able to run away, or will I? Maybe. Hmm. I mean... Anyway, so we're just gonna start off with some tasty fire. That's a lot of damage. I mean, the guy also dealt a lot of damage to us, but... We dealt a beautiful amount of damage to him, too. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Whoa, oh, shit. Oh, wait, two times in a row. Nyani. Ah, these friggin' pots. Ah, doesn't matter. We are strong and we don't panic, right? Ooh. Calculated, by the way. How about we continue the rest of the fight with Dragon Maw? Because that won't take as much time. Oh god. Ooh. Run away, run away, run away. Uh, all right, all right. Don't worry about a thing. We are smart after all. Professionals, you might even say. Munch on that tree. And that's gonna be it for my boy. Mm, the fire damage was actually really, really nice. <laughs> and it also feels very cool to use your fire damage against stuff like that. Green burst, crystal tear, flame shrouding, cracked tear. All right, we've got that done. Also, I looked up the location of a crystal tear that I've never had before in all of my playthroughs. But now we're gonna go and pick it up, <laughs> which is actually in the the crystal tear that is uh, going to boost faith, which is going to be very useful for an incantation build, obviously. Um. And the funny thing is, in all of my 300 and now probably 370 or something hours of playing this game, I never once got this tear and now I looked up where to get it. And it's just a very, uh, uh, a very unsuspecting kind of place. Just very early, very nice, non <laughs> not very dangerous, just some good fun, some nice stuff here without pressure. Maybe a few demi humans or something, but ah, that's not so bad, right? I love them golems. And the little golems love us too. Screech. See how happily they are screeching when they see us. Archie, Archie. Now you're getting a little bit too rough here with your saying hello rituals. Yeah, I think I should do this on foot, actually. We don't want to have anything silly happen, right? Yep. 
There you go. Slap. Wow, we can deal 500 damage. <laughs> 500 damage with one charged um, lightning thingy now. And that's kind of crazy. Not gonna lie. Really nice. Also, I should think about uh, getting that uh, talisman that increases the damage of all charged attacks and spells by like 15%. That should work out really well, actually. I'm just wondering uh, if maybe the, the Dragon Maw... I feel like it's actually not a charged attack, even though it takes so long, because you cannot like have a different attack depending on how long you charge it, right? So it shouldn't uh, increase the damage for that, but it would be pretty cool. Let's see. Fire breath to this disgusting thing over here. Set it ablaze. Oh yeah. <laughs> that my human queen's stuff. And crystal burst spell. Never had these things either. Oh now the little golems are now very sad that their queen has been beaten. I'll make it easier for them. <laughs> Don't you worry, my little golems. I know what you need. Mercy. And the rapture. Golem rapture has just happened. Enjoy. And I should be able to pick up my crystal tear somewhere around here. Oh, evil planties. I don't know how much damage we deal to them. Ah, oh, those are still low level planties. There you go. Ah, there's some stuff. Behold, my stuff. Enjoy the warmth of the dragon, my dear little plenty boys. Faith not crystal tear has been acquired. Here we go. As well as some poison bloom, which uh, as someone who doesn't even use the crafting in this game, doesn't even know what to do with. Because I'm a bucker. Enjoy. Alright, we've got that one. It's maybe <laughs> are there more trees to burn. We've already burned this tree, even though this is like ridiculously overleveled. We should also check out that dragon over here because we can use more dragon hearts. Uh, and we could also jump into this tower, maybe if we wanted to. <laughs> and also more caves, two caves even, one and two. Um, and then in Leonia. We can go and get inside that well over here. And maybe even to this tree over here. We could burn this one down. But I think we actually need to go almost to the Altos Plateau. And like somewhere here in order to get there. And then on top of that we also have Karia Manor. Now I'm wondering whether I should go first. I think... In terms of level, it probably makes sense to go to this uh, river well over here first. But also, I kind of like having the bell bearings. So, I think, I think here and there, are, is it really those? I'm not sure actually. But I think we got bell bearings somewhere around there. So I'm just going to check these out first because I always enjoy having the option to level up my weapons and uh, other tools as much as can be. Also, let me check if we actually have enough for another level, maybe. No, I need 26k, basically, for the next one. We're already so high level. <laughs> hmm, can we get down there without dying? I actually kind of doubt it. But uh, maybe over here, then it's technically not as far. Uh -huh. Not bad indeed. Here we go. I wonder if they have like some cellar over there, a <laughs> basement. They actually like a difference in cellar or basement, or is that actually just the same thing and it has two words for it? Maybe. 
American and then United Kingdom. Wow, 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 wow. Oops, okay. That was ouchy. Well then, you guys, enjoy. Ouch. What? You actually managed to get me out of there. I'm gonna jump down on you. Wow. Oh no, look at these evil boys actually giving me trouble. They're just some shieldy boys. Nice. This man got the London special. Alright. That was mildly uh, incompetent of me, but uh, that's just because we, we wanted to have some fun. We didn't take them seriously, but we won't make that um, error twice. Hmm? Something randomly died over there in the background. Ooh. The dog T-Rex. Is fighting some golems, I think. Oh, who's gonna be it? Oh, they actually, they actually managed to kill the dog T-Rex. How, how weird! How is that possible? The little golems actually did it. Wow, not bad. Got to hand it to them. No, let them a friend. London special coming up. Splurt. you dead as well. Let's see. Let's go with Lightning Spear for now, because that's probably the easiest to use while we're out and about in most situations. Dumba Smithing Stone 2. Um, wait. Uh, lantern time. There we go. I just remembered I forgot to put the faith uh, crystal tier into my mix. But it doesn't matter, we have a um, nice little grace over here. Perfect. Alright, we can have a level up. Oh wait, we can't. <laughs> it was so close though. Mix wondrous physique. Let's see. Next attack's more likely to break enemy stances and HP regeneration. Hmm. I like HP regeneration. Let's go with um uh, Where's Faith? Invest Crimson. Oh, it looked so strange. I thought it would look more magic y and if it's for faith, but there's the faith not crystal tier, so we will have HP regeneration and also a little bit of extra faith. How much extra faith actually? I think 10 or something. Uh, which means we're gonna go from 25 to 35. Ooh, with that I should actually also be able to use um, Rayol's Roar, but I haven't learned that yet. But I should probably pick it up. It sounds like good fun. Splat! Hello, my friend down there. You like some too? Ah, yes. Ouch. Those are the ones that meet the heavy attacks. Oh. Otherwise. Wait. I think those should have been heavy attacks, and we still got like a little bit bounced off of them. Not bad. Oh. What are you guys doing here? Splurt! Nice. The fact that these guys can bleed out even if they're still like protecting themselves with their shield is kind of hilarious. All right, let's see where we can go over here. Mm. What is this message saying? Armament ahead, but be wary of up. Thanks for the heads up, my friend. Mm. Let me check if there's something. Uh, not yet. Let's see how you guys like a little bit of lightning. Club. They enjoy the lightning very much. Yeah. Let's see how much damage we will deal with our flambeur. Oh, quite a bit. <laughs> That's good too, I guess. 
silver firefly. Oh, oh god, that, that's a big boy. You know what? I would like to spew some fire on this big thing. That's disgusting. Kill it with fire, kill it with fire. Ouch. Disgusting. Oh boy. Flame, please grant me a little bit of strength because this is surely very disgusting. And now we're just gonna flame it to death once again. Flame, 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 flame. This has a lot of HP actually. <laughs> flame, 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 flame. Thank you. Now I feel better because that was disgusting, but it's no longer alive. Let's go. Hmm. Didn't expect bug. <laughs> I'm not sure if bug is the right word, but maybe they are just a little bit held back by their options. Could have been dog as well. Smithing stone four. Cross Naginata. Yeah, I've actually never had that weapon. Summer Smithing Stone 4. Wait a minute. Can we actually use that for... Aha! Nice! That we can actually use to upgrade my, my Dragon Seal. Very nice indeed. Uh, it's also got a little bit of heal. There we go. And onwards we go. Blap. Blap. And London special. How nice is it to always just run through? And also, why why didn't I get the London special for this guy? I was standing right neck like behind him. Why why didn't that work? Why didn't it work? That's a scam. Explosive stone clump. Oh no, are these guys exploding? No. Oh. Hello, the man, dude. How are you doing? No, no, not the da dude. Dude, dude. Whoa, whoa. Freaking Radan Knights can actually do some fire spewing. Not bad. Now I'm gonna have to deal with all of these guys without being able to start the fight with a London special. Oh no! What? Oh damn it! <laughs> they really called on all of the boys to come here. <laughs> Everyone, get in here! Oh, well, what the? That's a lot of range, my my fair sir. You know what? We might actually need to get out some AoE damage for this one. That's a little bit. Quite a few people over here. Or maybe, actually, I think I remember these guys are pretty weak to lightning. Oh yeah. Ouch. Enjoy. You. They don't actually have that much HP and they just have a lot of resistance. Ouch. <laughs> Maybe I should jump more and talk less. Alright, I guess we lost all of our freaking potions for something silly like that. But anyways. Doesn't matter, it's gonna be fine. More boys. 33 damage. You better don't get out your freaking lantern. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Can you stop? There we go. Bam. There you go. Alright, let's get all of our well-deserved crystals and smithing stones. Gold pickled fowl foot. Ah, that's gonna be very useful once we kill another overleveled. Oh! 
that's a raid. <laughs> Nightmares Daycare, good day to you. Thank you so much for the raid and good day to all of you raiders. <laughs> also, Nightmares Daycare, thank you for the follow as well. Squash. <laughs> Squash. Now there it is. Squash. Hope you're having a great Tuesday. Well, we're having some great fun on our uh, sixth or seventh playthrough in Elden Ring. Ooh, another London special recipient. Nice. Stand steps. And goodbye. The daycare is overrun. Raiders incoming. The daycare is overrun. <laughs> I repeat. Uh, what kind of alarm sound do you have for that? Since I recently finished the game uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, uh, my first thought was going towards that Star Wars siren on the Imperial ships. Alright, here we have the boss room. And I don't have any of my stuff anymore. Let's see over here if maybe there will be a grace or something. <laughs> ah, looking good. Oh. Said my boy Alexander. Oh, the esteemed warrior. Where did you spring from? She seems to be Alexander. Dead end, I'm sure of it. What's going on here? A door from thin air. Well, How did this guy even get here? He's too too wide. But onward to the Kaled Wilds. Ah, that dead end had me rather stumped. <laughs> ha ha. Well then, my friend, I uh, guess I'll see you at the Radan Festival. It's time I set off to the festival at Redmain Castle on the southern edge of the scarlet rot blighted Kaelid Wilds. Doesn't the thought just set your heart aflutter? Absolutely, but unfortunately I won't be summoning anyone for that. Even though it looks very fun. Alright. Very nice. Lost grace and discovered. Let's have a level up. Uh, more vigor. Vigor is always under leveled. But we get lots of runes even though we're not farming because we're running the gold scarab talisman. <laughs> I feel like people underestimate the gold scarab talisman because it doesn't give you uh, like battle statistics directly but Indirectly, you're earning like 20% more runes, which means you're going to level 20% faster. And that's like a very strong like bonus in itself as well, right? Ah, wait a minute. I think this is like the magma boy over here. So magma boy is probably going to be resistant to fire. So we're going to try um, dragon maw and lightning. First I'm playing Elden Ring. Took out two small bosses, a rat and cat statue. <laughs> nice. It's gonna get even better. What run? Uh, I mean, what build are you going with? Or um, is that just a random? My first build was just double katana and nothing else, pretty much. Let's bite our boy. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Ah, oh, the Dragon Communion stuff did so much damage. Dragon Maw is so good. Fight. I've never had a build that dealt that much damage like this early. I'm still... I'm still awestruck by how much damage this stuff deals. It's so great. Ah, tasty. How oh, you like that, my friend? Stabby stab time. Now we have one Lightning Spear for you. And then it's more Dragon Maws. Oh, he was still... Ouchy. Oh, I forgot to drink my mixed physique thingy. Back to Dragon Maw now, I guess. Whoopsie. Or maybe a few slaps in the face. So it doesn't look like we just, we just absolutely ate this guy and didn't really do anything in terms of actually trying our hardest. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I, I wanna see if I can get a bleed proc actually and how much damage that's gonna deal. Are you running away from me, my boy? Ah, there's the bleed proc. Alright. 
now that we did something else and just drag him off, we can finish him with a little bit of a tasty bite. You're trying a mage belt. I was told that was easy to use. I see. Alright, guess so and then move that one. And we even got a dragon heart. Wait, what was the weapon? Didn't we get a weapon as well? Let me check. Uh didn't pay attention enough. <laughs> but I'm sure it wasn't anything crazy anyways. Alright. How was that actually the bell bearing? I'm so confused. Since uh, the last time I played this game was actually like nine months ago, I forgot a few things, uh, especially where the important bell bearings are. But uh, I guess once I go back to the round table hold, I'll see whether that was the right cave for that job. Let's just quickly go there because I want to upgrade my, uh, my dragon communion seal anyways. I'm going to take a look. First up, and to get our Dragon Communion Seal to plus four. Well, I'll be lurking and keep you tabbed up while I go to make something to eat. Ah, alright then. Oh, you'll have something very nice and tasty. Yeah, we go Dragon Communion Seal plus four now. Oh, and we even have enough stuff to update the... Lamberge as well. Very nice. Okay, the scaling is still on D, which is a shame. But at the very least, we also level up our blood loss status for that. Let's see if we actually got a bell bearing for that or if I was just um, tripping once more. Fox braining. Half a bell bearing. Oh, no bell to offer. Guess that was nothing. Then, I guess. It has to be somewhere else. Probably this one. I'm pretty sure there was at least one bell bearing in a uh, airlet for the Samba Stones. Also, a squash. <laughs> Savaged Moss, thank you for the follow. Hope you have a very nice day as well. Alright. Time for the next cave to be explored over here. Last time we also have beaten the commander over here, which was mildly spicy as well. <laughs> Quite funny, ignoring most of his summons and then just biting him down. But that's it's kind of fun because I never really... I haven't really played a... Uh, how to say... a glass cannon build, which was very fragile but also deals a lot of damage. Alright, alright, and see next time. We'll just oh wait, whoopsie. I'll just go here. It's kinda come that way. Even though I'm pretty sure it's only going to drop some poison stuff, which is useless anyways, because Scarlet Rod is just a better version of uh poison anyways. Oh no, not yet. When are you gonna come this way? Ah, looking good. That's my time. There you go. Poison armament. Yep. Just as I said. Disgusting poison postures. Disgusting indeed. Another cave for our cave connoisseurs. Let's see what we can get over here. Perhaps even a Samba Smithing Stone 5, that would be cool. Even more damage for the Dragon Communion Seal. Also, I didn't really find a Arcane Crystal Tear um, while I was looking for more Crystal Tears, so I'm a little bit confused. If any one of you knows if there's actually an Arcane boosting Crystal Tear in the game, that would be much appreciated. Alright. <laughs> Even more mining friendos over here. Split! A London special is for everyone, don't worry. They spread it around the entire world, even to those who didn't ask for it. Oh, oh no, not these things. Ah, I hate that freaking stuff. 
Got freaking slapped. Ouchie. Rawr. Disgusting cockroach voice. Alright, wasn't there something behind here? Looks like there's a smithing stone. There's even more smithing stones just hanging around. Nice. Smithing stone five. Well. Damn, this guy can just have lots of like indirect fire. That's pretty overpowered. Doesn't even have to be in my point of view. Mr. Garden is here as well. Good day to you over on YouTube. Fire Giant ended my no death run by one shotting me with 57 vigor. More gods rune and 50% fire negation. <laughs> oh my god. What did he one shot you with? Was that in the second phase? Maybe, maybe, maybe his fire breath or something that c c comes out of them, the big face. Oh no, forgive me as Haki for this. <laughs> that seems rough indeed. Hey, why didn't I give a, uh, get a London special for this guy? Ah, and now we're... Oh, the man actually jumped down from his uh, heart team actually jumped down from his vantage point. That's our chance to slap him in the face. <laughs> Why does he keep spamming this? I'm running out of stamina. Get blitzed. There you go. Seriously, man. What the hell? Not a pest slave. Let's do some healing. And so I'd like to keep some of my... Um, what are they actually called for real in Elden Ring? Uh, flasks. Are you right? Okay, okay. The flasks. I would like to keep some flasks in, at hand since they're easier to use when you're in a bind. Gravity stone fan. Hmm. Now oh, we have a valiant, wonderful worker over here. Bop. Wait, what? <laughs> Quickly, finish him, finish him. <laughs> I guess that one attack was going out while you're still immune from getting critical in the back. Whoopsie. There's no physic tier that increases arcane. There's a talisman though. I see. Thank you very much for telling me. That's good to know because then I know I don't have to search around for it. But it's also a little bit strange. Maybe maybe they didn't give Arcane a crystal tier so that it's not uh, quote unquote like abused for getting a bunch of uh, extra uh, item spawn rate all the time when you want it. <laughs> I mean, I think that would be very useful and nice, but maybe that's why they did it. Ah, nice. Three cuts and then this guy had a blood loss explosion. Very nice. Rune orc. Ooh I should actually maybe think about uh, activating Godric's great rune because the plus five to all attributes is actually really nice. Can come in really handy. All right, let me see if I remember. Yeah, should be here. Ah, oh. cool. Lintstone. Hmm. Oh. Good thing I was able to stagger that man. Slap. You seem to have lots of physical resistance, but <laughs> we were able to blitz you. 420 damage. Blaze it. There we go. I think since I can just use healing anyways, I might just uh, 
In the future, when I get more flasks, I'll just probably get more mana flasks as well, since I'm mainly dealing my damage with the Dragon Communion incantations anyways. Some are sniffing stone for. Mm -hmm. Oh. Have to be careful with the indirect fire from that roach boy. Oh, oh that rain still. Yes, let's go. Three strikes and the blood rock is there. Rock blaster. All of these mining magic skills. <laughs> Nothing's done five and another fiver. Not bad. I'm gonna be able to upgrade my weapon once more once we're out of here. Pretty sure we're gonna get uh, the bell bearing here probably. Plop. There you go. Oh, I stumble down. Is it gonna be tasty? Ah, oh, it's also a four one. Guess that's okay too. But uh, not crazy. Should be getting towards the boss soon, I think. And there will be the backstabber roachman soon, I think, here. Yeah. Backstabby roachman. Oh, not a shame. Ouch. Nah. One, two, three. And blood. Nice. I wonder what uh, boss we have in here. Probably in the... Oh, what was that? How is it called? The thing that's like a freaking bull, but it's actually a gravity monster. Fallen star something monster, I think. Let's see if we can give this guy a London special. Yeah, we can. Nice. Oh, and we couldn't follow up. Ouch. <laughs> I jumped down, he jumped up. Nice choreography, my dudes. Ouch. Nah. Rude. Yeah, this fight is probably not gonna go well. Uh, or we just gotta play it really, really cool. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna try and play it really, really cool. I mean, it's not that bad since I can just go ahead and... Uh, Ooh, faithful canvas talisman. What was that actually? Raises potency of incantations. Ah, that's probably the thing that raises the strength of incantations by 4% or something. But it's not better than 20% more runes though. Alright, let's see. Flame. Where's flame give me strength? Oh, not strong enough. I see not enough mana. Oh, let's see. Even though we are very underprepared with one mana flask and one uh, normal HP flask. But I'm gonna try killing this falling star, something comet, beast or whatever it's called. Anyways, let's just see if it works out, shall we? <laughs> Time for a little bit of dragon jumping. Bite that thing, bite it good. Nice, that's good damage. Bite it again, glass cannon strong. Oh yeah, let's freaking go. Bite it again. Strongest freaking glass cannon. All right, I totally forgot that I have this one as well. More faith and more HP regeneration. Just dodge lol. Ah, and just tank it. Whoa, ouch. Maybe don't tank too much. Oh. 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 I thought I was safe to uh, just jump through him, but I guess his uh, hitbox was still there. 
Ah, uh, I think I remember now. That's the point, the thing why, since it's a charge attack, you have to uh, dodge sideways. Otherwise, the hitbox will still linger while you're there. And then it will still hit you. Whoopsie. But we got pretty close to killing him. Oh, I think I forgot to... Uh, Push down the ladder for the shortcut. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I forgot to do it. Whoopsie. Well, then, anyways, kill Roachman. <laughs> okay, then. Doesn't matter, we're just gonna speedrun the walk back to the boss. Anyways. And don't forget to get your shortcut this time, in case something unforeseen happens, which is of course ridiculous, because what, what, was, what is supposed to happen? Are we supposed to die with all of these flasks? Oh, oh surely not. <clears throat> Hopefully. Alright, kick down that ladder. There we go. And we're almost back again. Just gotta make sure not to get hit by the evil ambush roach man. There you go. Here we go. Let's get a bite in before this thing isn't done getting up. Nice. Hot. <laughs> the delayed attacks in that one. Let me bite more. Well. Oh, it's using the charge attack again. Guess I'm not gonna have uh, most of my poise break from the first attack then. Ouch. Alright, give it another bite. No! <laughs> it actually stepped back just a little bit. I think uh, just running is enough, yeah. Running is enough indeed. Snap. Ouch. Oh. That got me good. But I'm now I'm gonna get you good. Ah, oh, Gary. Alright, let's give it another bite. Tasty. Alright, only one more Dragon Maw and this fight should be over. How are you doing? Yep, and that's it. Goodbye. Ah, Mr. Garden on his... Oh, that's a lot of summer stones. Damn, that, that's, that's amazing. What the hell? Also, some stone smithing mine about amazing good stuff. Right, also, Mr. Garden on his Elden Ring No Death Run died to the fire giant's second phase fire breath. I see. <laughs> that, I remember that catching me as well off guard. At some point, you're just a little bit uh, out of position, and then bam, you're getting just, yeah, just absolutely getting grilled by that guy. Next time, I guess I'll just have to ult a 4 if it catches me. <laughs> I'm sure that's how Miyazaki intended you to survive it. <laughs> I guess the best form of survival is either running away by torrent or running away by ult a 4. Definitely. More vigor cannot be bad. Here we go. Well, now we have another Miffing Stone, minus um, Bell Bearing, blah blah bloop. And also we got more summer stone stuff. So let's see, hopefully we will have enough to actually upgrade my um, dragon communion seal once again. Otherwise I'll have to make some runes of the stuff in my inventory. Where have you been hiding? I was just here 10 minutes ago. Yes, it just says that if you've killed a boss between the last time you were here. Uh, oh, it costs really not a lot of runes, but I need a summer smithing stone 5. Wait, so did I just get a summer smithing stone like 7 and 6 or something, but not a smithing stone 5? 
Living stone six and seven. Wow. Wait, no. Oh, those are normal sniffing stones, not summer sniffing stones. So we have four. Oh, but we also have a six. So we need a summer sniffing stone five. All right. Good to know. Time to bring back the bell bearing. Stretch X Gaming is here as well. Good day to you. Meow being defeated is often a temporary condition. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Giving up is what makes it permanent. That sounds like we're still playing Monster Hunter World. <laughs> it's just my pellicle speaking. Hazelberry Knuff. We'll fight together again in the next game. See, is there anything? Crafting kit. I imagine cr actually crafting. <laughs> Alright. Except for maybe rune arcs. Uh, I don't think there's anything I would buy at this moment. Alright, time to continue onwards. Hmm. I think what could be interesting would be trying to beat the next dragon here on this bridge. But it's also gonna be pretty spicy because he's gonna be very over leveled since this is basically i don't know is that like the dragon barrow stuff over here isn't that like fire missoula level or uh mountaintops of the giants level for some reason i don't remember getting more than 100 000 runes for this uh, earth tree avatar over here <laughs> feels mildly overtuned but uh we did it and we got a lot of tasty runes for it but I guess it makes more sense if we start off the thing that I mentioned before. The next river well down here in Leonia. Also, a moment, time for hydration. Here we go. Let's see. I think I'm gonna level up my HP until uh, 35 or something, and then maybe we're going to continue with a little bit more arcane of faith. Maybe a little bit of mana, because my my mana flasks are hopelessly overcapping my mana at the moment. It feels a little bit like a waste. It's quite a shame. Before we continue onwards, I would also like to once again have one of these fire monk boys because he's wearing some cool armor and I was thinking maybe that would look nice on a dragon knight. Hello friend, how you doing? My man had lots of poise but not enough poise to survive and blood loss. How about this? Ah, and we have a little drop as well. Oh, just a smoldering butterfly. Well, that's a shame. Sorry for uh, killing your officer, my dudes. I just wanted to have his cool armor. I'm, I'm just a, a, I'm an a, a enjoyer of your style. Don't worry about it. Ooh. Not a berry bear. Hello them, my friend. How you doing? Damn, was that the blood the blood loss proc of one attack? It seemed like it. <laughs> Whoopsie, tasty berry bears have been had. Oh wait, that was the wrong way actually I have to go even further down. Whoop. And also my mouse once again but outside of the game for some reason, even though I didn't even press L top. Change. We have another grace. Nice. Oh, and we have another of those fire monks in the distance. Well, it doesn't count as farming if they're spawning in different places, right? Hehe. <laughs> I'll turn good day to you guys as well. Split. 
smoldering butterfly. Can you guys drop something else in that? At least once. Tasty jump time. Bam. <laughs> now let's see. Not not a not 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 another butterfly, please. I actually really like butterflies, but Fire Monk Hood. Ah. Let's see how that looks actually. Oh, we even got some great haunt headband. I mean <laughs> wait, this didn't act this doesn't actually put me on heavy Ah, oh, this didn't even put me on heavy weight. That's funny. That looks funny as well. That on the other hand has more weight than these giant horns and will put me on heavy load. But what does it look like? Hmm. It looks okay, I guess. But in this playthrough, for some reason, I'm an enjoyer of the more uh, refined tastes like the pumpkin head. So, how about as a dragon knight, I continue onwards with a few of these uh, freaking horns over here. <laughs> and with this, I also have 50 poise. Let's go. Dragon knight with horns is a good combination. My book makes perfect sense. I'm gonna be a professional ankle biter for this guy. Bap. Ouch. And another ankle bite should do it. Oh, that was too soon. <laughs> oh. Of oh, these guys that you don't even fight that often, you often forget what their moveset looks like. But... Wait, what? That dealt way less damage than the other one. Why did the other one borderline almost kill him in a one shot? And now he seems to have way more HP. Oh, that other one was just somehow... A ridiculous crit. I mean, this time we dealt one uh, 2,600 damage and the other ones were like 1,000 damage. I don't, I myself don't really know how that makes sense, but uh, yes, that happened. I feel a little bit silly with these horns, but it uh, doesn't matter. We, we look fabulous. It's gonna be fine. I'm still not completely decided what uh, armor I want to wear for the, uh, like, I mean, for the future, so to say. But uh, I've seen that uh, in the um, mountaintops of the giants, um, they have, like, one uh, banished knight that can actually drop a altered piece, or maybe the original piece, of the Banished Knight armor, and I think that actually looks pretty cool, and I'm gonna try to at least maybe get that one. Since we're leveling up a cane, also the drop chances should be much nicer than usual, so hopefully it doesn't take too long. Also, boy do I love freaking ants. Don't you guys love ants? I sure love ants. Oh yeah, that was beautiful. Thank you, ants. Hey, Steam. I definitely don't remember where to find uh, the map for this one. And also, I think it's a little bit uh, confusing as well, since it has like some parts of it can't even be. Uh, traveled to from here, but it's still on the same map. Slap, slap, slap. Oh no, ranged evil anties. Goodbye. Sniffing stone free. What do you guys have to tell me? If only I had, <laughs> if only I had a hole. <laughs> Try fingers, you guys. Frickin' Elden Ring players, man.
You do have some at least. Oh, we were able to jump over this projectile. Nice. Mr. Railgun, good day to you. Dragonite, me as a me. Very true. Oh, oh, that actually deals a lot of damage. Holy wow. Scary. One moment, one moment, one moment. I just need to... There we go. And now, slap in the face. In the face. And you... Uh, you get a lightning spear. Enjoy. Damn. One that isn't even like fully charged already has enough to almost kill them. Pretty nice. So, charged one will definitely finish them. Evil antis. We have more places to go from here. City ahead. Alright, if the city is ahead here, then we should probably look through the other ones first. Goodbye. Put things down. Try defeating one by one. Mm hmm. There are gonna be a lot of ants, then maybe we can use more dragon breath again. Oh. Looks like a lot of ants and also disgusting big ant over here. Ew, you guys, you should all come down here so I can burn you. Oh, yes, yes, that's right. Golden rune, ouch. Oh, oh. They, they poise broke me with that projectile and uh, I was I was spooling up my fire breath but they slapped me first ouch again <laughs> alright I guess I guess we only hit like two of them or so anyways anyways fire breath do your thing do your thing. Yep, 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 yep. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff. That's what I was waiting for. Thank you, Fire Breath. Very cool. Can I destroy these disgusting thingies? No, that's a shame. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Behold rump these guys try left item hat thank you gorgeous view ahead very true Ah I see for me that's towards the other side I probably would have come out here as well sniffing stone four The last shield and dew. Oh no, these boys again. You know what? I am definitely of the opinion that these guys need... No, what? That they can roll now? They roll now. These boys definitely need the fire breath of Jesus. Ouchie. <laughs> that was already great AOE, but they hurt me. Do it again. Yes. Ah, uh, tasty. I love dragon breath. Need more mana though. All right, my friends. Let's do it again. It's even funnier the second time. Whoa. Just for you. There you go. We are not full potions again. Nice. Oh. An evil ambusher. These boys have poise. Ouch. Wait, there's even more of them. What the? Yes, they need a little bit more of that flame as well. 
They shall be reborn in the flame of our lord, the dragon. Wah. Hmm, the rolling is actually a little bit annoying because now it's gonna be more difficult to shepherd them into the right place. Stop rolling! Archie. They have evolved. I don't even remember them using that. Anyways, fire, fire tasty, fire very tasty. Let's go. Range. Now we're currently at 12,000 runes, what a beautiful number. And now we're back to something random. Roll boy, ouch. And gone. Hmm. Alright, we only got one HP flask back for that, but finally we have the good feeling of having cleaned out this entire place. The good stuff. Slap. Let's go, your bubbles. Oh wait, he was able act <laughs> he was actually able to bring out them freaking bubbles. But at the very least we got back all of our flasks. Now, I think there's gonna be like an evil boy hanging. Ah, yes, this one. I guess we're gonna have to deal with that one first. Uah. Yeah. Hello, my dudes. I sure know that you all want to impale me, who wouldn't want to, but first we gotta get out of here and then I can grill you. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, what, what the hell? <laughs> it was even raining down here. Let me see. Uh, I think I probably would like to aim at the guy with my lightning from this. Hello over here, but first we have to get rid of the evil ones surrounding me here. Quite a few of them are here, so I guess a guild flame will be good trade deal. Oh, beautiful. Ah, <laughs> oh, beautiful is that. Wonderful indeed. Now, oh, there's still one of them. Alright, let's see. Oh, not enough range. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> that a lot of damage. Let's get rid of this guy as well, and then we can find out how we can maybe blitz this evil boy up here. There we go. Not enough range, what am I even gonna do? This means I literally can't do anything to this guy. That's so mean. I remember killing this guy before and I thought I had done it with the same spell. Oh, there we go. Map and cell river. Hello there, sir. What you doing? What you trading? Is someone there? A customer? Well, how long has it been? Let's see. Gravity stuff. Lost ashes of war. Celestial dew. Carry out absolution at the Church of Vows. Hmm. Nomadic warriors cook a book. <laughs> Prisoner's iron mask. <laughs> Prisoner's fetish mask, more like. Alright. 
because we won't need any of those things. Let's see, maybe you can sell him some stuff since we're getting extra drops. How about some weapons that we don't need? Uh, oh, I have the dagger. Oh, I should actually mind the dagger because I can put some um, stuff on there, like Golden Vow. Let's see. Uh, well, this is mostly pretty low rune payout, so well, I guess I'm just gonna keep it for now, since it doesn't really seem to make a big difference. But anyway, I really want to kill this evil boy over up here. I'm gonna do that if I don't have enough range. Try again. It seems to like run out right in front of his face. You can't be serious. I don't have any other long range spells. So you're trying to tell me that I'm not uh, equipped to beat this guy? How rude. Very rude indeed. And it's also gonna make exploring this a lot more annoying. I think I definitely killed this guy when I was here in my uh, mage playthrough. Oh, hello to my dudes. How are you doing? I think I need only a single flame for most of these. Yeah. That's good value for the mana. Ouch. Not if I get myself. Ouch. <laughs> Not if I get myself killed now. Well, more bubble boy and behind me. What the... Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I hate this place. Just a silly place. Bubble person. Clayman's harpoon. Oh. Too many bubble people over here. Oh my god, I can't believe she's so racist towards the bubble people. Imagine that. How am I supposed to keep watching her if she's racist towards the bubble people? Oh no. They roll in as well. Ouch. These guys are evil. I don't like them. Scary and evil. Slap. Good damage. Enjoy another blood to the face. I guess we're just gonna uh, walk away then. If uh, this guy just won't be mean to me. Magic Grease. Not enough range for our boy over here. Oh. <laughs> He's even slapping us on the way out. I think I remember being disappointed with these runes last time I was here because like the cool stuff here is actually like you get somewhere else like uh, I think this city or something can we actually get there from here I doubt it actually but I'm gonna try out maybe if there's another path to walk from here And don't jump into this hole once again. <laughs> that was that was the only death so far uh, during this playthrough where I actually lost my runes and it was actually a considerable amount in the early game just because I jumped into this hole expecting the elevator to be there for some reason. <laughs> Here we go.
Look at them dragon horns. Uh, don't ask, they are definitely dragon horns and uh, dragons definitely have horns in this game. Actually more like, probably more like a uh, rhino and less like these horns to be honest. Mm -hmm. We didn't even get a lot of runes for this stuff. Definitely disappointing and evil. Because we couldn't even beat the evil boy who was too far away. Hmm. Maybe we get some nice goodies over here. Shatter shot arrow. Smithing stone. And some ghost glove ward. Number one, even. That's so low. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, we've been through here before. With them evil antis of the side entrance to that place. And now we didn't even really get a boss in here. Well, and he's above me and in front of me. In front of me, I mean. Ouch. Splat. We're going to freaking blast our way out of here. Don't you worry. Oh, <laughs> not if we don't have enough range, I guess. Anyways. Do your worst, you evil aunties. I'm gonna get ya. We're gonna make it out of here, don't you worry. The Dragonite has enough spells for the likes of them. Ah, I think we will have, yeah, a few of them here. Well, in that case... Flames. Hasty flames. Tasty grilled protein will be had today. Oh, not for this one. Smart, clever girl actually just getting to the side. Alright, let's see. Hopefully I can teleport away from here again. Right, this wasn't the cave, so I should have always been able to teleport out of here. Whoopsie. Anyways, we've got the map now. And the funny thing is you can't even get to this part of the map from here, but you can still get the map over here. <laughs> Alright, um, what was the right button? That was the right button. Let's see. We have more stuff. We have Caria Mana. And we also have some stuff over here when we climb up there towards the church and another earth tree avatar. Let's go to Carrion Manor first. And then we can meet Loretta Chan again. Loretta Chan! Oh, let's see, maybe our friend E.G. over here can sell us a smithing, Samba smithing sound 5. I would appreciate that very much. Let's see, purchase. Ah, no, only as a summer sniffing stone four. I was trying to look around a little bit because uh, I don't think. I've explored around the castle much or the manor. I've always just walked straight through it and uh, recently when I watched some videos about some items where they can be found, I noticed, oh, behind this Caria Manor there's a place as well, like a grace that is literally called behind Caria Manor or something. <laughs> well, anyways, let's see. The evil giant hands. 
spider hands. And it will be somewhere around here. And at the very least, I don't really have to worry about... Oh, whoops. Anyways. Ah, that thing seems to have a lot of uh, HP, actually, because I thought they were weak against fire. Ouch. Blood loss, yeah. These things are so disgusting. Samba smithing stone too from a normal guy. Not bad. Ah, oh, another big bye. Oh, Ouch. <laughs> oh my god. He just braced right through that. Scary. Can we still do fire? We can still do ouch. You have lots of fire and love to get out. What? He was able to break me out of my uh, dragon incantation voice. <laughs> what? These guys, I hate them. Alright, let's go. Burn! Alright, that was uh, okay damage, I guess, but not good enough. I guess we're just gonna go with Catch Flame instead for the good freaking mana efficiency. More Samba Smithing Stones. I would actually like to maybe go with a fire ash of war for my weapon just because I like having fire damage because I feel like very very many places in this game have like enemies that at the very least are uh, if they are not weak to fire damage then they are very much uh, not immune to it and you could you could just see like I used to catch flame once on this guy and he was like run, uh, like rolling around and saying oh no, roll, rolling on my floor, burning my ass off uh, because uh, he was burning, right? But why didn't they do that when I used my dragon flame? It should have been the same and I don't know why it wasn't. Anyways, they will catch those flames in the face going forward. See them hands just chilling. Disgusting. We're not gonna give them that kind of happiness. Yeah, roll around and burn. Be purged, cleansed by fire. You disgusting thing as well. Burn! Yeah, burn more. Nice, much better. <laughs> it's so silly that they get that extra burn animation. Uh, when you hit them with the small little burn uh, uh, thingy, but not if I use my dragon fire. I wonder why some of the ghosts are actually red now. Hmm. I don't believe that happened in the past, having red ghosts of other players. Hello to my dude, how you doing? Oh, looks like he has the armor of a carrion knight. Lady Runny, we have long awaited you. I pray for your house's swift revival. May the full moon shine upon Caria. I see. I'm very sorry, my dude, but Runny has turned into a doll and she doesn't really care about stuff anymore. She just wants her own Elden Ring ending. Level up? No, no level up. Lightning spear. Ah, now we're gonna have fun with lots of ghosts again. 
Yeah, yeah, my ghost friends got slapped. Ouch. That is was actually... <laughs> I thought it was you, but it was actually me who was getting slapped. Raya Lucaria gauntlets. Screech. Cuckoo Glenstone. Oh no, that's a boy with lots of poise. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> no. <laughs> one moment, one moment. <laughs> These guys, I'm just... I just don't get why they have so much freaking poise. They're only wearing a big weapon, but you don't get poise for bigger weapons. You get poise for more armor. Ugh. Freaking mines. Let's have a little heal over here. Screech. Another one ambushing. Damn, that almost killed him and he was blocking it with his shield. Not a lot of thunder resistance, have we? Uh -huh. Splat! <laughs> Spawning, get splatched, splurked, splashed. Try your worst, you don't even have a shield, you're definitely gonna die to this. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, that's genius. Even though these guys may have a lot of poise, they don't have a lot of resistance. <laughs> nice. And just one shot them. Even if they have a big sword, doesn't mean they can take more lightning than the others. Actually, I think we're gonna see some fly boys uh, very soon, some winged boys, so time to go with more mana so we can blitz them as well. Oh, actually you get some grace before that, nice. Head fox, good day to you as well. Nice area, do you guys still remember the OP East uh, sword in game, which you could get from here before it's nerf? Ah, uh, wasn't that the, the sword of flame and shadow or something like that? I heard of that, but I've never actually used it myself. And here we have evil wolf boys. Evil wolf boys that want to scare little foxies. I'm gonna blitz them. Oh damn, that guy has a lot of HP actually. Impressive. But blood loss will bring down even the most alpha of freaking wolves because being an alpha doesn't even exist. <laughs> but what, you know what does exist? The London special. Uh, I guess not for non humanoid enemies. Then you're gonna get another special, a blood loss special. Am I little? I'm not little. I'm pretty tall, actually. 180 centimeters, or in freedom units, about 5'11". So, I'm not really uh, generally a small foxy, but I was just saying that in general, that the evil the evil uh, wolves are scaring little foxies, and that's why we have to have our revenge on them for all the little foxies that are getting scared by the evil wolves. Now you get a London special. Splat! Nice. Hmm, wasn't there something back here as well? Yeah, just some nice little herbs. The London special because of knives? Yes, because of stabbing. <laughs> nice, I'm small bird person, 163 centimeter. I mean, 
I would say it's more average than small, right? Oh, I mean, depends. Hmm. Let's see. Are we going in from the front? You know what? Yeah. We're going to blitz some of these boys. Hello there. Would you like to come and have some fun? <laughs> now the other ones too. You there. Get out of here. And you as well. Well, how was that a block? That didn't look like a block at all. You, get over here as well. <laughs> Two big troll mages just looking around like, oh, what's happening? Alright, Mr. Troll Mage, let's see. Do we have enough for a Dragon Maw? We do not. Then it's gonna be a Lightning Spear. Mr. Troll Mage, have at you. Rawr. Dragon Maw time. Snap. Tasty. You are even able to dodge. Ah, and now we can even give this big troll mage a London special. Oh, yeah, it actually worked out. Let's go. And blood loss. Oh, oh there it is. Troll knight's sword. All right. Oh, and these evil boys over here. I remember them with their freaking crossbows. You shall get blitzed by the lightning as well. There you go. Other one as well. <laughs> How about a London special in the back? Nice. Uh, There you go. Freaking Elden Ring secrets everywhere. I mean, this, this entire game is a secret because nobody tells you anything. It's all a big community uh, thing to find stuff out. Try fingers. <laughs> what? What do you guys mean? Hmm. Oh, we can jump down here. Oh, we can do that. But before we do that, let me think. Um, this is the boss room. Let's get this thing over here. And I think there was also like a side entrance to here. Ah, there was a stake of America, I see. Feet. Are you one of them feet enjoyers, just like Miyazaki-san as well? <laughs> Did you know you could sneak around on the left side? Yeah, that's what I'm currently checking out. But I was just wondering if there was actually something here or if it was just another way or if we could actually get another item. At the very least, we can kill evil mages over here. And the evil non-mage. Well, as long as they're evil. Alright, guess that was that. Um, I guess I'm gonna try the boss first and then we're gonna, if I don't forget about it, gonna try and jump down here. Let's see, we have two mana, we have one HP. Alright, let's maybe go ahead and use a flame grant me strength and then we're gonna chuck down some more stuff. Flame, grant me strength. We have 30 seconds to make use of it. Of a tasty dragon maw. Of 20% extra damage. Wow, she jumped away. Oh no. Don't do this to me, Lord Atachan. Come on. Oh boy, that's a lot of tasty damage. 
tasty. Oh yeah. I can do that too, you know. Ah, she gonna touch, touch. How about a few more slaps? Ah, that was too soon. Should have waited a little bit longer. But we're a little bit too strong for Lord Adachin anyways. But since we're playing a freaking glass cannon build and we're not making use of our strongest attack anymore for a little bit of comedic effect, Oh, we could still have a little bit of spice, but uh, not really. <laughs> Alright. Ash of Wall, Loretta's Slash. Alright, Loretta Chan, thank you for the runes. Hi, Tango. Good day to you. Good morning. <laughs> now you start sounding like one of us. Alright, in a minute. Uh, allocate flask charges. Let's have another mana flask. Alright. And a level up. 35. Alright, now don't forget to go back and jump down the side entrance. They intended it the right feet. Huh? I'm still not sure what you mean. Maybe you mean feet like F E A T, but then I still wouldn't exactly know what you mean. Anyways, we're continuing onwards. What do you guys have to say? Still no door. <laughs> Could this be a something incredible? Are you sure? I'm not sure. I don't really remember anything super amazing being here. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna get floored by this jar man over here. Ouch. And the gravestone is making me unable to retreat. Ah, oh, but some more lightning stuff in the face. Seems to work alright, but not ridiculously so. Goodbye, big jar. Goodbye, little jar. Living jar ha shard. Oh, I was thinking maybe I'd get a jar as a headpiece, but it was just a shard, unfortunately. Plop. Even more of them are here. I think I was just running out of a um, stamina there, and now they have their crazy and evil revenge. Nothing amazing here. Let's check the other side of the graveyard before we jump one more level downwards. I think this will probably lead us to where we can uh, buy some spells, but since we're using incantations, it's not really that important. But I mean, why not? Oh, more jars. What a jarring experience. Sorry. <laughs> Guess I will be becoming a dad as well soon with jokes like these. Ah, wait. Yeah, you can jump down. Wasn't that actually the thing to get the sword of uh, flame and shadow, or however that was called? An even bigger jaw experience. I'm gonna chomp him with my dragon maw this time. Oh, two jaws even. Why do you keep <laughs> bringing me back to the small one? I want to go and bite the big ones. Tasty. Oh, that was a one-shot. 
Time to buy this one as well. Goodbye. Of tasty red juices inside. Mm -hmm. Raw meat dumpling. Uh oh. Boy, oh boy. Doesn't that make you hungry? The jars in which they uh, <coughs> store dead people has a raw meat dumpling in it. Doesn't that make you super hungry as well? Another hop, skip, jump, and we should be almost there. Here we go. Item ahead. Ash of War, Carrion Grandeur. I don't even remember having that. Strange, or maybe I had that and I tried it out and didn't like it as much. But I don't really remember the name, strange. What does it be an item? But where? Wait, wasn't I supposed to drop down somewhere onto another one of these and then get uh, the sort of something and blah blah deep blue? Or maybe this was just another thing over here. Only for the Carian grandeur. Well, guess it wasn't anything else. And get back to the royal moon gazing grounds. Hmm, I wonder, is there even anything cool up here at all if I don't want to, like, do Rani's quest? Probably not. Well, guess we're done here then, because the dragon over here will just run away as well. So, ah, but maybe one thing I can do is actually maybe explore behind the castle. There's something nice there. At the very least, there should be one race or something. And then we can go to the upper parts of Leonia and over there get another tasty, crispy avatar boy. Uh, maybe, maybe we actually have to get behind the castle from up there instead of on the side here. Oh, uh, hmm. Ah, uh, sure seems like it, because that seems more like a thing where you can jump down instead of a thing where you can jump up. Guess we're gonna have to do it from up here. Still no torrent allowed? Very rude. Alright, usually we were running around to see all of these towers, to see Rani and no. Uh, so, uh, servants, probably, or well, evil mage boys. But now we're actually running around somewhere where I've never run around to before. I mean, it doesn't seem incredibly important, but it'd be something new. I'm always happy to find something new in this game that I've played for so long already. At <laughs> the very least, there's a scarab over here. Let's see what that one has to offer. Probably a spell, since we're in the mage grounds. Frozen armament. Interesting. Skeleboys! Goodbye, Skeleboys. See you around. There we go, a new grace. Behind Carrier Manor, 
How aptly named. Level 69. Nice. Oh, now I remember. I think I've actually been here before. I think there's gonna be like one of like Radagon's red wolves down here somewhere, I think, if I remember correctly. If so, then I've actually been here before. Yeah, it's just been such a long time. Like, wow. Let me dragon jump you. Wow. No! God damn it. Not in range. Archie. I'm gonna give you another dragon jump. Just you wait. Ouch. Wow, these little wolf boys are also dealing damage. Nice, good damage. Good damage. Just one more should finish him. Yeah. Get freaking munched. And you, evil wolves, you shall befall the same end as your disgusting master, who looks more than a fox than a wolf, to be honest, but an uh, evil imposter, I would say. Ooh, nice blood proc. There we go. And then that. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, Railgun also remembers this section from ages ago. I see. Let's continue onwards on this path a little bit longer. And see if there was anything else left. Maybe an Evergoal. Because these one boys are often... Aha! Aha! That was actually another goal. Let's see what we can find. What enemy will wait for us here? I'm gonna prepare to chump him with my dragon stuff. Oh! That's just one of these gravity boys. They won't be a big problem. <laughs> London special! Splat! I don't even want to finish you with my dragon maw. But you're not worthy of it. You don't even deal damage to me. Oh, oh, um. Fight me like a real uh, whatever alien you are. And bloodlust. Goodbye. Hopefully you will at least give me good runes. Hmm. Ah, that wasn't even like 6k or something. That is rather disappointing, if I'm being honest with you guys. But it happens. Alright, I guess so we went ahead and found everything over here, except the ice um, hash of war. But I don't think we're going to use the one on this playthrough anyway. So we're going to go over here and then up, 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 up the mountain towards the Eye of Sauron. And then towards the crazy church and then the Earth Tree Avatar. One more tasty stuff. I remember farming my uh, mage knight armor here and then killing myself so I wouldn't have the runes. Those were good times. <laughs> we did a small just chatting segment and decided to wait until we get the full armor. Let's see, and we got a Koku great shield. Evil boys, dude, dude.
Go for the mages first, always. What? Scary mage sword. And by you. Oh, oh. Good range, actually. I thought I would could just be able to outrange it, but I wasn't able to. Gary. Archie. I'm gonna have to bite this guy. Pasty. Goodbye. And it's actually you, soon of them healed. There we go. Another sanctuary stone. At some point I'll have to google what these actually do. Like, I feel like from the first uh, stream playthrough onwards, or I mean, at the very least from then onwards, I was saying that I didn't know what they do, but I never knew from the start what they uh, do. <laughs> Would be good to check back at some point, maybe, to see what these things are good for. Probably crafting. That's probably why I don't know, because who actually likes crafting in this game? Can't even craft armor and weapons. Oh no, evil madness ratties. Oh, the blood prop. Very nice. Alright, now I have to think about what I'm actually gonna do against the Eye of Sauron. I remember that not looking at it was actually just a scam and it's still a deal. At the very least it wasn't consistent, so we're just gonna try our best and power through it. There it is. Quickly, quickly, get below it. So the eye of Sauron can make you hyper crazy. Ouchie. Oh. Lots of ratties over here. Scary, scary, certified scary. I'm gonna jump you. There you go. That's how we deal with the evil ratties. Ouchie madness time. Alright. Seems like down here we're a little bit safer from the evil madness. The crazy juice. That's that's what freaking transformed Micah and uh, Sadie to a lesser degree. But the crazy juice salesmen are definitely here. How of Shabiri, wasn't that actually pretty good because it gave you lots of damage? Stop your impure stuff over here. Ouchie. You evil boys. Be gone. There we go. The Eye of Sauron has been conquered. All of the evil disciples have been destroyed. Tasty crazy juice? No, it's not tasty. It's it's disgusting. Look at it. It's like it's like vomit colored or something. <laughs> Let's see if I remember correctly. There should be another troll around here, and then we can see. Ah. Oh, I think I think this this riddle over here was something that annoyed me a lot and then I had to google it or something like that. Hello there Mr. Troll, how are you doing? I'm the ankle biter. And I'm also the London special dispenser. Splat. Steady step. There we go. 1.5k, huh? Alright, let's see. 
And was there actually a riddle for this? Inverted fringe tower? Seems to be one. Uh, my erudition light the way. I feel like I'm playing Star Rail again. Sorry, I haven't unlocked erudition for the simulated universe yet. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Now I remember reading this and then not knowing what the hell they want from me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Never walked around here before though, I think. Let's check it out. Burps. Oh, scary. Apparently there's nothing exciting around here on this side. May erudition light the way. And it's probably something where you have to, I don't know, you probably have to cast a spell in front of this or something and then I was like, what? Oh, and I have to go that specific s and get that specific spell? That's so mean. Oh no. I guess it's just a single memory slot where we can... Yeah, it's gonna be fine, even if we don't have that one. I refuse. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had to Google anything so far in this playthrough. Let's continue this streak, so to say. Alright then, instead of that, next up will be the, uh, uh, the church over here. And I think there we can also fight a uh, Vike. Or was that a Vike, actually? The one who gives us the madness glaive or something. That might be a cool item as well. I don't. I wonder if it uh, scales with arcane. If so, that would be a really nice weapon to try as well. The frenzied flame village. How you doing, my dudes? Thank you for the frenzied cookbook. And Shabiri's wool. <laughs> As one of the silliest uh, talismans in the entire game. I guess it's like mostly for co-op because uh, with when you're wearing this talisman you have the enemies aggro you more than usual. Meaning, I don't know, maybe you can also put it on your mimic tier, spawn the mimic tier and then get rid of the talisman yourself so that the enemy mostly just attacks the mimic tier instead of you. Anyways. Time to fight our boy now, and then get his cool glaive. It is Vike. Time to jump down on him. Good damage. How about another one? <laughs> that was a good trade. And uh, goodbye, my dude. Works pretty well against um, <coughs> NPCs. <laughs> uh, let's see also in the spear. The spear. I think it inflicts madness. Yeah. Madness build up 65. Has faith scaling. Alright. Demands 20 dexterity. Yeah, that probably won't work for me. As I'm just going to continue with my flamberge. Thank you for the dress. And thank you for the sacred tear. And it's time to increase the strength of our flasks once more. And new runes. 26k, is that enough? I think that's probably not enough for another level up. Oh, uh, we need 28. All right. Good to know. Well, then it is probably actually time to... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. First, first it's time to eat another tasty 
a tree over there. Achiel's flame shall burn through this earth tree avatar. Hmm, I wonder if I will deal less damage now because it's raining. I think the game has a few of these environmental thingies going on actually, but I'm not sure if that actually applies. Mad ratties. <laughs> ah, that was the scarab. I knew I'd heard a scarab, but that actually... Oh, 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 whoops, whoopsie. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, I guess we just got ambushed and absolutely destroyed by the madness ratties over there. Alright then. Sounds like fun. But it's not raining anymore. Guess I'm gonna deal more fire damage again. That was all part of my big grand plan after all. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. Oh. Archie. Ah, frenzied burst is what we get from here, I see. Oh, actually, I've been not respecting these runes in the past, but we get home once more and then we don't have enough runes to upgrade our weapon or something. This will actually maybe come in handy. Have this stuff stored in our bank without being able to lose it should something strange happen. Well, these plants are actually madness plants, damn. Well then, let's see how them madness plants like a little bit of fire. Yeah, that plane doesn't take a lot of damage from the fire at all. But it sure did a wiggle around a lot. I wanna destroy you evil plant, you annoy me. But also, gotta be careful with all of this madness spore stuff going around how about lightning not a lot i feel like this stuff is literally just made to annoy you however it will only give me like two runes <laughs> this thing was still spewing stuff oh damn Oh, oh no, oh no, madness. Oh, oh, don't finish me, please. Small one gave me so much madness as well. Definitely, absolutely disgusting. Have more of... Oh, wait, wait a minute. Oh. We're casting some crazy juice. Lightning over here. Now, more fire. Eat it. How can a goddamn plant take so little damage from fire? There we go. No much runes is that gonna be. 478. That is definitely bad taste. Such a small amount. How rude. Let's continue onwards towards some better stuff like an archery avatar. Please don't die. Alright. Would be funny if we died to this thing. Oh, I think it's gonna jump. Yeah, that's the. <laughs> This thing jumping is actually super scary. Alright, looks like we got the stuff on here covered. Let's do that one. Oh, let's jump in again. Scary. 
That one down there is hard to hit. Ugh. There we go. Alright, no, should be only a few more or something. Oh, jumping again. <laughs> it's so freaking crazy to see this thing just jump around. Oh, done. Oh, it was actually done and just decided to get uh, another jump out before it's over. Ah, we have some more of my horn bros over here. Anyways, London special it is. Splash! What's up gamers? London specials here. They only give 218 rooms. I feel like it's probably even a better investment of my time to just walk past them. But dispensing London specials is too beautiful. I need the mana to burn down the tree. Gimme. Thank you. Two mana potions even. Nice. This archery avatar will probably feel pretty undertuned since we already attacked the ones in Kaelid as well. Mom boys want the big jump out. They do want the big jump, but they also want to slap me in big. All right, that was two of them. Now for the last one. Slap, 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 slap. Ooh, London special for the end. Good taste, my dude. All right, then. Time for the fiery part. I think we should have enough range up here. Ouchie. Was worth it though, half the HP is already gone. Well, actually a third one in the combo. I was cocky. Alright, let's try it. Ouch, alright, maybe let, let's not try it. This was a silly idea. I wanna finish him with the fire though. Ah, beautiful, wonderful. Goodbye. Let's see how many runes is that. Oh, damn it. Didn't even look because I, I looked what it looks like uh, for you guys. So I tried to lean away a little bit so it's easier to see. And then I didn't even look at the screen myself. <laughs> Anyways. We've got that tasty over in our bank now. And let's see, I think there should be one more grace somewhere around here, right? Wait a minute. What is this over here? Is this another one or is it walking again? I think it should be another one, right? Or uh, am I fox braining over here? No, the other one is here. But they have two right next to each other. I'm mildly confused about that.
level up 35 for vigor and now we're gonna go back to some more spicy stuff like arcane <laughs> Or I could also level up a little bit more of the faith so I can use Grail's Roar. Or I just leave that behind for a little bit and go for Arcane. Since I still can just use the, uh, the mixed physique flask to get 10 more faith just like that. Oh, I think it's jumping. He be jumping. Oh lord, he jumping. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> I just got my horse. <laughs> I was sure I could just walk in that direction and then it wouldn't hit me. And uh, I mean, it, it didn't hit me. It only hit my paw horsey, I guess. There we go. I think that should have been... Oh no, it's going to crumble to one side. Oh, my mid... Uh, oh, can't even talk anymore. Come on, my dear. Do your crumbling business. There we go. I drink to that. Alright then. Hmm. <laughs> I think we can even go down here and then there's going to be a crypta over here. Let's check it out. I remember there being some of the winged hussars without head. Or at least one of them. Also, oh, still spaced armor? Very true. <laughs> Although I'm not sure if we can call getting squashed by one of these giant feet uh, a, uh, maybe a heat attack. <laughs> High squishing uh, anti-horse is this more like. Oh, a rune baron. Damn boy. Ouch. <laughs> Rune bars are freaking strong. We're gonna have to take this one seriously. Ouch. Oh, yeah. Get jumped. Alright. Damn, this boy has a lot of HP. Fair hug. Dodged. And tasty times. Quick, quick. Give him the London special. While it's still hot. Who doesn't love Dragon Maul? I'm gonna absolutely diagnose them with crazy juice. <laughs> Just more charges. Let's go, my dude. Finished. Nice. Rune bars are freaking crazy. They don't call it high explosive squashed hat for nothing. Oh boy. Guess we're gonna get our squishing with that one as well. Can't wait to level up a cane even more to have even more tasty damage with this uh, stuff. Oh no, the mosquitoes, I'm always unable to actually hit them. Uh, right, actually, it's more, it's more like a dragonfly. If, if it's more like a dragonfly, then we might be able to get it. I think it's more like a dragonfly thingy. The way it looks. Nah. Yes. Great dragonfly head.
There you go. Evil insects have been destroyed. And there's our winged hussar. Good trade, my dude. And goodbye. Mate, they gave me back uh, my potions for this guy. That's kind of funny. Black knife catacombs. Ah, yes, I think I remember this. Like, the only reason I ever went here is because there was like some of the death root here that we uh, needed for our beastman clergy guy, so we could eat that stuff and then give us more beastman incantations. We're even giving the already undead a little bit of the London special. They are so thirsty for that good London special juice that they raise back from the dead if you don't stop them. I wonder what we can get in here. Probably useless because I don't remember it. Hehe. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, this guy jumped in my face and keep rolling. Wait. I thought I had hit that corpse enough to stop him from regenerating. Wait, that one as well. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Oh, are they just... Do they have infinite re... Or maybe it was this guy's fault. They were regenerating until this guy was done. Hasty times. Oh yeah, I can't finish these guys either, so... Let's see what they have their master. Ouch. I was able to finish that one though. Maybe their master is just sitting on that balcony. Yeah, they have that kind of aura that makes it seem like they cannot be finished. Ah, there's at least one skeleton sitting overhead. Ouch. They're gonna regenerate. Ouchie. But unable to finish that one. Ah, that's their evil master. Here we go. Right, these guys also have this strange. Ah, there's that fire. Evil man. Goodbye. We still have quite a few mana potions, so let's use the heal instead. And we're going with the jump. Is this boy gonna fall down? Nah, we were able to finish him before he was gone. London special feels less satisfying when it's on a skeleton. Oh, it was that really everything. I mean, then the only thing left to do. Rolling required ahead. <laughs> yeah. Guess we're opening the door to the boss uh, way over here. 
some why have it always opened <laughs> more rolling boys I'm for a new band the rolling skulls Scimitar. Ah, oh, look at them tasty little crabby boys. Ah, oh, that's not a lot of... Ah. Oh. Maybe this one will give me more runes. Oh yeah, I'm tasty. The dragon head loves jumping down on some tasty crab meat. Especially the claws. Mm -mm. You guys ready to get hungry again? <laughs> I sure am. And I'm sure ready to get my hungry mouth stuffed with tasty crab meat once again as well. Grave glow water quiet as well. Oh wait, wasn't that the difference? The the grave glove wards are the ones for normal spirit ashes and the ghost ones are for um, special ones like the somber smithing stones. If I remember correctly. I wonder which boss will be in here. Maybe one of the black knives? Hmm. Do we need to replenish stuff? Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. We're just gonna jump down on them and then it's gonna be all fine. Don't worry. Lots of skelly boys over here. Oh, oh no. It's, it's a scary shadow boy actually. What 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 would you mean? Oh, what the fuck! I was actually CC'd. I don't remember the last time I got actually CC'd in 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 this game. What? They like it was like they spun me into a freaking cocoon and I couldn't move. That sucks. That sucks big time. What the hell? What do you mean there's CC in this game? <laughs> I don't remember that being the case. I'm just gonna start throwing fire into all of these evil scully boys. Watch me. Yeah, look at this, look at this. What the hell is this? Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I uh, by accident smoked out the boss and that killed all the others too, which is funny, but also what, what the hell kind of disgusting spell was that? Actually rooting me like we're playing freaking League of Legends. The fruit acquired. Morgana strikes back. Oh no, please no. I hate that so much. The hitbox, the missile speed and the range on her freaking Q, it's just crazy. And jump down, finish. Pla Wait, what? <laughs> You're trying to tell me this guy was able to smack me out of my... Oh wait. Ah, it was because I was using the Dragon Flame instead of the Dragon Maw. I think the Dragon Maw has more poise. Mausoleum Night Gauntlets. Interesting, so that's what they are called. Alright, we've got that done as well. Well then, is it finally time to move on? I mean, there's still some stuff over here, but I don't like that much. I want lots of teleporters. Paramazula even. But you can't actually 
go on to that area after that teleporter. There's just some stuff to gather and then you gotta go back again. Ah. Alright. How about we treat ourselves to another dragon fight, but this time the one on the bridge that is going to be a little bit more spicy. <laughs> Also, I totally forgot that that is actually perfect because we have to get the uh, Altus Plateau uh, Elevator medallion thingy over here as well. Evil bats, I'm gonna freaking burn all of you. How oh, you like that one? Yeah, how oh, you like that one, you evil bats. Ah, this one even has a lot of HP. Ah, poison. Disgusting. Don't you worry. You guys will get... Ouch. N not fire breathed yet. Ah, wha what the fuck? What do you mean they have a move that just uh, grabs me and basically instickles me as well? What? I even have like, I have, I mean, I have decent armor. What the hell? I'm just gonna, this time I'm just gonna go right in there with the freaking flamethrower. Clearing a narrow corridor with a flamethrower like well, it's a World War II bunker. Oh yeah, especially if it's disgusting bats like that in here. What the hell is your problem, you disgusting things? Uh, these other bats over here, they have a lot of HP actually. I think I might actually have to use the jump because they're just going to break me out of this. Poison, thankfully doesn't deal that much damage. Ah, ah, what the hell? That's, that like legit deals 70% of my HP at the minimum. Oh, I'm not gonna run through this. I wanna finish these disgusting guys. What the hell? What the frickin' hell is wrong with them? What? Oh shit, I almost lost my runes because uh, I didn't think the small one could do the same. What the hell? These guys are freaking deal. Flame cleanse me of this filth. Alright my dudes, let's have some fun. Jump! Yeah, that was a good jump. These things are disgusting. And they hurt. Why they hurt this? Why did they hurt so freaking much? What the hell? There you go. These things are absolutely disgusting. I'm gonna jump you. Jump! Nice. Blood proc, and you, you're gonna get a chump in the face as well. Screech! I'm the better Screecher, don't you know? Blood! There we go. Finally, man. Like the last few times I got here, I'm pretty sure I just ran through it. And these guys really are freaking the worst. 
Enjoy. Oh, nice. We got lots of stuff back. Much appreciated. It's probably because we're in that Dragon Barrow region that is, uh, for some reason, vastly overleveled compared to Kaled and the other stuff. I think it's higher than Altus Plateau even. Alright, top. We got the Dectus medallion. Well, <laughs> this is this guy just fell down there and died. I guess the red bows are actually the ones that died. Alright, spawn you evil ghosts, do your worst. I'm ready for you. They have a lot of HP, they really do. How much is that? 1400? What? These guys give a lot of runes actually. Nice. Now that's a good trade deal. If I've ever seen one. And they also deal damage, damn boy. <laughs> you can't be serious, what the fuck? Why does it feel like everything deals way too much damage to me? It's not like I'm wearing a sword seal, right? I mean, my, my armor isn't really full as well, but I'm not wearing something that's like increasing the damage I take, but it sure feels like I do. And I give these next spawning guys a freaking dragon maw in the face. Spawn! Why aren't you spawning, you evil boys? There you go. Oh no! Nice. And London special. Alright, what? Oh, another one. Hammer boy. Get closer, hammer boy. Hasty. War pick. Mm, let me heal. Because we only have one normal HP flask left. Alright, looking good. Do we have enough? No, no. Maybe a lightning spear could be fun somewhere. Because I know that there are some ratties somewhere around here. Like you. Um, 616 damage, but the ratty lived through it. I need a level 5 Samba Stone, then I'll be able to update my seal quite a bit, and it's gonna be good. Jump down! Ouch, that hurt a lot. And jump down again. Alright, alright, it's staggered. Heal, and jump down again. Oh, even the small ones deal so much damage. Alright, that one's dead. Ah, uh, that one's dead. Oh god. No, don't kill me, don't kill me. Don't, don't. Oh, thank god. <laughs> that was... That was spicy. Oh man. Alright, alright, alright. Guess we cleaned out this disgusting hive of stuff. There's a sore seal. What is that? Like 10% extra damage that you take? Raises attributes. Um, vigor, endurance, strength, dexterity. Uh, I mean, I mean, endurance and vigor would be cool, but not for the price of getting dealt 10% more damage or something crazy like that. Was it 10 or 15%? I think it was like 10% or so. Alright, now that we've got that can go back here and then it's time to move onwards to the dragon of the bridge.
I think I'm gonna use my uh, gold pickled fowl foot for that as well. Mm, mind. Yeah, let's just increase mind because I'm not even getting the full like uh, effect of my mana flasks anymore because they're just over capping. Also, we should be able to get um, another memory stone very soon. Here is where we burned down another one of these uh, tree avatars with catch flame. <laughs> it dealt so much ridiculous damage, even though this guy is supposed to be super overleveled. Something died. Olga blooms. Please don't electrify me. I'm I'm actually an electro enjoyer myself, so please don't. We're, we're friends, right? We cool. Oh, more tasty runes. Much appreciated. And here we go. Whoa. There it is. And now, time to jump over here. There we go. And this is probably one of the chillest to get uh, memory stones. It's here, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, how about that? Hmm, how about a dragon mom? Jump. All right, more of that. Stop! Splat! Splat! Dead. Oh, only 1000 runes or so. Let's see. You sure caught that flame alright. <laughs> sure did. Like trees tend to do. Note that it's raining so you actually had fire resistance. Ah, so that does actually happen. Time for me to go into snooze mode. Have a nice continuation of stream. Thank you very much for tuning in and help. You're gonna have a very nice rest as well. See you soon. Alright, we got it up on next memory stone. Now it's time to go out and try our best at killing that overleveled dragon and getting one more tasty dragon heart to jump and munch on. Wait, it actually should be across the upper bridge, not the lower bridge, but on the lower bridge we can actually also have a friendo over here. One of the um, knight's cavalry. Rain makes you resist flame while making you weaker to lightning. Well then, I guess we're gonna try some lightning against our boy over here. But Dragon Maw should always work as well. This is taking too long. There we go, and now shoot him in the back. Lightning. 514. There we go. Whoop. Ouch. 
Them boys still damage over here. They sure do. God. That took a little bit long. Thumb down. Ah. Not a hit. Whoopsie. How about this time? Nice. Good trade. But this guy also has a lot of HP. Not bad. Oh. Wow. Damn, boy. So you need to be like at about 70% uh, HP. Otherwise, uh, he'll be able to one-shot me. Damn. <laughs> Damn, these guys deal some damage. Back to nightfall and back to fighting our boy over here. This man has a lot of HP that you can barely see the difference uh, that I made with my one sword strike. Ah, guess that didn't work out. But how about Dragon Mom? Nice. Damn, he really does like 70% of my HP with one strike. One halberd strike. Oh, that was down range. Got a drink because... Ouch. <laughs> exactly that. Oh, damn. <laughs> Guess we're gonna be trading a little bit more. Come close, my dude. Oh. Lemon bite. That only hit his horse, but not him. Why? Oh, damn it. That was the wrong timing of drinking one of the flasks. Whoopsie. This area is brutal. Yeah. Back to nightfall we go. I'm gonna be interested to see how much runes we get from this guy. Oops. One more rune set. Oh, a little bit farther in. I see. What a nice trade. Da ah, damn it. Could have easily dodged that, but I was too greedy and wanted to drink my uh, flask right away. Whoopsie. That was my bad. <laughs> Isn't it great in this game? You die and you say, oh, that was my fault. Whoopsie. Hee <laughs> hee. And you uh, continue onwards because you're not frustrated at all because it was your fault. Damn. Wrong timing by me. Lemon bite. 
Feels like with how the trades are going, I'm probably gonna die before he does. But what? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I maybe have to change around my playstyle just a little bit. But hitting with the other stuff is also difficult. But maybe a little bit of range with Agil's flame will do the trick. Ah, bad timing by me. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I saw that coming. <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. Oh damn. Uh, I don't have any health potions anymore. Maybe I should overthink my approach from the start. Or hmm, I could also just um, keep tanking through it and just allocate a little bit more of them flasks to HP, I guess. <laughs> Um, hmm, 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 hmm. I'm gonna continue a little bit more with the backer stuff and uh, maybe we'll be able to deal some blood loss to him too. Right, get closer, get closer. I want that tasty jump to begin with. Oh, oh. Right, oh no. Ah, oh, my mouse was outside the game again. How does that even happen? How does my mouse get outside the game? <laughs> Wait a moment. Oh no, I can't see chat like this. Oh no, who's going to pay attention to chat? I've, oh my god, we're even like missing everything at the moment anyways. How lovely. Perfect. One jump has been actually able to get towards the enemy. Ouch. Just gotta use the right moments to trade. Oh no, now that I can't read my chat at the moment, what will they do? They are free now, undisturbed by the oversight of the Kitsune Empire's princess. What will they do? Uh, was that even a hit? I don't think that was even a hit. Oh god. I think if I want to trade, I should do it while his um, horse is like doing that exactly, because that move doesn't deal as much damage. That's the one, and it didn't even hit me. Well, but now I got a halberd back in the face as well. Oh, wow. Damn it, I thought I had the hyper armor for that, but apparently it wasn't quick enough. That was only the horse. I mean, I couldn't... They can finish the horse and then I can jump on him. Damn it, I'm getting cocky now. Nah. Hasty, but also ooh, scary. I have to remember that this guy doesn't actually have um, a cult. I think he has like infinite poise or something. Oh damn, I thought it was gonna be one of the other moves that don't hit quite as hard. Did I 
Oh, Flame Grand Misrang is here as well. But, uh, oh, it doesn't matter if I get killed anyways. Anyways, I can finally bring back my chat after my mouse for some reason was outside of the game once again and did switch some stuff up. <laughs> All right. Mods are asleep, Masamishi. What? What? Rude. Rude. I knew that crazy things would happen and the uh, anarchy would break out when, well, I'm not there to look at the chat. <laughs> And once again, I think it happens uh, when I sit down on the grays, probably. Because then they give me back, uh, like, the power to move my mouse. And so, strange stuff happens. The chumpies. Get over here, you evil boy. Nice, that was perfect. You didn't even manage to trade there. All right, that was a fat trade. No, <laughs> that was not a trade at all. That was just bad. One of the worst trade diesels in history, maybe ever. Ouch. Me just trying to get the right spell up, actually getting destroyed while doing it. Dumpy times. Ouch, team. Oh no. Oh, oh damn it. I misread this move. I thought it was just a normal horsey uh, thingy and not the uh, halberd strike with the horsey thingy. <laughs> Don't worry, we're gonna do this. It's not even like, uh, it's not even getting frustrating yet. I mean, when does it ever get frustrating with Elden Ring, right? And it's just about you, you just gotta get good. <laughs> and I'm not actually trying to get good, I'm currently just uh, trying to quickly get this guy down while tanking hits. Which is not necessarily the best way to do things. But it's just so much tasty damage. Nah, I mean he missed me, I missed him, but still, my mana, tasty. No, how was that a miss though? What? Alright, that only hit the horse. That hit both, let's go. Good hit. Ah, that freaking second <laughs> little body slam there. Always, I mean, oh. We got a little bit of blood proc on that horsey. Ah, that was a decent trade. Ah, too far away, I think, yeah. Alright, if we kill the horsey, ouch. <laughs> we kill the horsey, we can get a free hit in. Ouch. Oh damn, this is not good at the moment, not good at all. Hmm. 
90 damage to the knight. Alright. Can I get up? Ah, that was the blood proc. Let's go. Yeah. I'm gonna use that moment to heal. All right, all right. We're almost there. The blood proc was very tasty indeed. Scary. Oh no, it was a hellbat strike. Uh, I didn't actually want to try um, trade with that one. But if I can bite him one more time, that's gonna be it. One more bite, one more tasty jump, and we'll have our tasty rune food. No! Okay, okay. Ah, no. No more HP regeneration as well. Oh no! No! I <laughs> was done not a hit, man. Ah, oh, that's so mean. That was, that was like how the hitbox like I don't know went into circles and he would run around me for some reason and then my uh, dragon uh, more didn't have enough tracking for that. No! How could that happen to me? It was just one more tasty jump. Maybe I should have just uh, went over and tried it with my sword instead. I was greedy. Oh no, I'm, I'm, my freaking thing was outside in the game once more, but we're back, we're back in the game. Well, whoops, <laughs> that's what happens. Anyways, anyways, don't worry about it. We're back in the game. Forget that every single time after we get a grace, that stuff happens. Ah, uh, whoopsie. Yeah. We were out of our rhythm there because of the evil stuff. Freaking man, every single time we, we sit at a grace, my mouth just gets outside the game. <laughs> and do that to me. But I have to do it in order to get back to night time until nightfall. All right, all right, we we safe? All right, I think we're safe. All right, let's go. This time our runes are really far in the back. You know what? I'm just gonna be cheeky about this. Hello, my friend, how you doing? Just giving you a small little drive-by over here. Right, ah, there he is. Hello, friend. Ah, there was a blood proc on the horse. Oh, what? <laughs> that was silly. Come back here. Damn it. Nyani, that was still in that box. You have to be crazy to believe that one. Well. What, what, what? Damn it, I'm always reading it wrong. Like the, um, the, the horsey thingy when it's like, I don't know. Like going upwards, I don't know what that actually means because I'm not a big horse person, but <laughs> when I don't know when it's bucking maybe or something. When the horse does that, it's either the normal horse thingy which doesn't deal a lot of damage or it's another halberd strike and I struggle to 
actually uh, see when it's either the one or the other. But it's very important for trading purposes. Oh, I died. There we go. <laughs> what are you doing there behind the thingy? I'm gonna bite you. Nice. That was actually useful. Another bite coming up. Tasty. Alright, yeah, that was the one I wanted to trade with. Ah, oh, no, not that one. <laughs> oh, our team. Damn it. Unfortunate, that cost me another one of my flasks. Damn it. Uh, I have to make sure I can actually figure out which one of these moves it is and then also position myself in a good way. Our team. That was one of the horsey moves that I could have traded into. That one as well. Oh, oh no. Horsey moves, horsey moves. Ah, oh, that was a nice blood truck. Ouchy. None good. But his horse is almost dead and then he also takes some extra damage. Just gotta abandon the trading playstyle and go ahead and do the smart playstyle. Just don't get hit. Don't trade, just don't get hit at all. Alright, give him a good old jump. Tasty. Give him another good old jump. Nice. Uh, Nice, we got him. All right, let's see how much runes that is. 50,400. Not bad. Also, Bloodhound step, Ash of War. Not bad, that stuff. Not bad at all. We got it. Just had to stop feeling like we're a tank who can trade and go back to uh, a <laughs> reasonable playstyle. We have some of these small evil boys over here and these imp men, or whatever they're called. Poison traps, but it's gonna be fine. What are they gonna do? I can just use flame cleanse me. With all of these boys, can we stab them maybe? Or maybe chump them, the little boys. Flat. <laughs> that looks brutal. Damn boy. I'm gonna jump down on you guys. Jump. And you too. Ouch. And boys deal damage though. But we deal damage too. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get the grace for the bridge dragon and then we're gonna try and kill that one as well.
And once that one is dead, I'm gonna try and use my uh, gold pickled fowl foot. If that's what it's called. So we can get some extra tasty runes. Alright, so we're leveling up a little bit more mind and a little bit more mind. Now we should be able to... Oh no, let me think. We should be able to use a fourth dragon more, I think. I hope. I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> Alright then, the only way you can reliably kill us is jumping upwards and doing the fire right in front of my face. Alright, let's see. Screech. Fight the boy. Ouch. Um, that was a trade, and it shouldn't have been a trade. Oh, it starts with the fire right away, but not the evil one. It's gonna be fine. Oh, that one's spicy though. Another one. Oh. Quick, 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 quick. Alright. Let's see if I can even get a blood proc on this guy. and That would be tasty. More fire. Oh, what the? It actually, like, what? I never saw that, like, go this far over here. Nice, we have one blood proc. Other ones are gonna get a little bit more difficult. Ouch. Whoopsie. Oh no, that's the one. That's the one. Nah. Oh, oh. oh, they fixed it. It doesn't hit you multiple times anymore. They fixed it. Ah, I love it. They've actually fixed it. Let's freaking go. Uh, uh, scary, scary, scary. Alright, let's try and jump this guy a little bit, shall we? Decent damage, 800. Oh, more fire, oh boy, oh boy. The fire actually hit me a little bit. Ah, but I was right, we are able to outgeam. <laughs> we are definitely able to outgeam, but we are also able to use a fourth dragon mon now. Not a ankle bite. Um, here we go. Oh. oh, oh boy. <laughs> this is so difficult to uh, escape while we're on a freaking bridge like that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh. Wait a minute, ah, oh, it was the other one. Oh no, I don't have any f uh, HP flasks anymore. Whoopsie. But the guy has long enough windows that we should be able to actually use the healing spell as well. Just gotta be smart and cheeky about this. Hey, Steam. Man, this guy still hasn't been poise broken, even though... Uh, even though the Dragon Maw is really hardcore in terms of poise break. Looking good. Ooh. Oh, oh, scary. Oh, oh, oh god. <laughs> All right, all right, I need some heal spells now. We're gonna need more mana. Oh. And we're gonna need more heal spells and then more jumpy jumps. 
Ouch. Oh god. I'm gonna need way more healing now. Oh god. Alright, alright. Alright, good one, good one. Oh, not a good one. Scary, scary. Oof. Alright. Scary. Fire. Scary fire. Scary fire. No, no. Okay, okay. <laughs> Man, that's freaking bridge. Oh god. I was too scared to jump. Like, when the dragons use this move, I usually like to jump away a little bit more. But, oh, oh no, no, that's the one. Not that's the one. No, no, no. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> that's the one. That one's so difficult to escape. Ah. Uh, oh boy. Alright, but we made it pretty far. Mm. We made it pretty far. Not bad. That was even the first try. Now we're gonna get even spicier. Screech! Just don't use your flying too much, please. Oh yeah, like that. that actually hit me, even though it was the wrong foot. Oh no, is that the one? Oh, it's not the one. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is so freaking crazy on the bridge now. Oh, this time, this time we actually managed to get him with that. I'm gonna jump him in the face, let's go. Jump, jump. Not bad. Oh, it's not the one. It was safe after all. Tasty jumps. Nice. Uh, we're stun locking this guy. Ah, I can't get there. That's mean. Oh, I'm still getting the, um, the head multiplier for that one. Let's go. Tasty. Just gotta keep jumping. Uh oh. Keep jumping. Hey, Steam. We're jumping down on this tasty boy. Everybody got some tasty. That was bad. Well, that was pretty bad. But we still have all of our uh, HP flasks. That's pretty cool. More jumpies. Oh, no, 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 not that one, please. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, we actually didn't get hit. What the hell? Uh. Archie. I could also finish him with a blood uh, loss proc pretty soon, I would say. Oh, our team. Ah, uh, that is the evil one, that is the evil one. Uh, oh, it, it still hit me. Ah, uh, how? Oh. 
Jump him down. Yes. It's almost dead. Hey, little dragon. Oh, no. Not... <laughs> not that one. How would you like to get killed dishonorably by lightning? Goodbye! Oh, not enough range. Well... There you go. <laughs> Alright, foul foot. 124,000. 124,000 runes. Now that's tasty. Alright, while the foul foot is still walking, we should still um, go ahead and kill some more of the other guys. Oh, Captain Nachoi, good day to you. Hopefully you're having a very chill day, even though I heard that the automatons have returned actually, so there's probably lots to do. Alright, you little boys. Give me your runes. 1,700 for one of these, let's go. Gotta make sure we get everything we can out of this before the foul foot is gone. Our team. These guys got hands. But they also take extra damage in the rain. Pew. More pew. Oh, another one. They got some cool moves, to be honest. Ouch. Scary. Oh, no more mana. Guess we gotta handle them in the good old way. <laughs> Blood loss. Tasty. Alright, wait a minute. I think there was still one more thing to find somewhere over here. Oh, maybe you can give this one a London special. Let's see. Oh, flat. <laughs> it still looks so freaking brutal, man. Just stab them completely into the ground. Kapitan Achoy is casually chilling on the back front at the moment. I see him. Well, we all fought the automatons for long enough, so definitely should be fine to kill a little bit of stuff where you want it. We still got the golden, the gold pickled fowl foot active. But I got my boys. Tasty. Volga Militia Saw and Volga Militia Griefs. I don't know what you mean, I can wear those armor sets. Aren't those too small for me? Freaking unrealistic standards for girls once again. Blood loss. Ah! The gold pickled foul foot. I hope I don't have to pronounce that again. It's now over, so it's time to cash in our tasty runes instead. I would say it's time to go to the Altus Plateau. And then it is time to eat our boy Radan. Let's see, let's put mine on 25 because that looks nice. Yes, I am vain like that. And let's put some more arcane into this build. Hasty. Alright, we got that. Now... Oh wait, also I wanted to get Godric's rune started as well. So let's actually... Hmm, what's, what's the fastest way of going there actually? Maybe here. Let's check it out. Oh, I think I remember. Um, if we get to the part where we can get the black 
uh, flame incantations. And then we should also be able to um, jump down and get to the gate thing faster where I needed to go in order to activate his great room. Oh, and also, I st we could still. All oh, right, all right. Isn't there like the the entire like uh, um, what's it called? The entire underground under the castle, still up for exploration. And there was like one of the also the tree spirits as well. I think who should give me one of those golden seeds. Oh, I totally forgot about that, and I also forgot about how to even get there. Let's do the rune, the great rune stuff first, though. Right, these things still deal so much damage to me. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm super overleveled now. These guys can't touch me anymore, but instead they still hurt me for tons of damage. Alright. Loud my friends. What? No London special. Alright, I got those guys. Oh, we missed, but we still got him. Exile armor. There you go, my friend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm -hmm. These guys over here. Oh, I can actually jump attack one shot them. No, that seems alright. That was apparently just another guy who was a lot more fragile than the others. Nice, you were able to one shot that one though. Tasty lightning. How about you? And how about you? Splat! More mushrooms. Why are these guys carrying so many mushrooms? Enjoy, enjoy us. That guy scares me and got freaking blitzed. Alright, looking good. Let's actually go out and uh, use some of the normal healing. And then it's time to get ready and jump down on one of these lions. There he is. Let's have some good trades, my dude. Dragon beats lion. <laughs> there you go. Alright, we're well, well on our way to activating Godric's Great Rune. And still one of the most useful in the entire game, I feel like. Just gotta make sure not to die a stupid death and then it will be really useful all the time. No level ups available. 
Maybe I should level up endurance as well so I can go ahead and wear some more awesome armor. Heavy armor. Old Drake Talisman. Oh, no torrent. Alright then. I wonder if I can jump these guys as well. Like, it's a really, really crazy jump. Oh, it seems to be like just a normal jump. I want to have a critical jump. Ah, that was a critical jump, and I don't know how that even out happens. Ouch. No, let me finish this boy. Nah. He was mine. What? <laughs> I've never seen him do that move. Quickly just change over. Jump down on their freaking feet. What? Hard team. Damn it. Tanked some hits. But didn't give damage back. That was one of the critical ones. Some more apparently I gotta hit a good angle at their feet. Hmm. Let's see if I can find the right angle and jump down on his feet. Maybe at the back? Oh yeah! That's basically one shot him. Beautiful. We're almost there. Almost at the peak. Hmm, I'm pretty sure there are no more battles to fight here anyway, so might as well get ourselves topped up just so it looks nice and comfy. At some point I'm gonna have to increase my drift because this looks kinda hideous, but uh, <clears throat> we're still having fun over here, right? Right? <laughs> Thank you very much, little goddess. And great rune time it is. Great rune restored. Godric's great rune. Which will enhance all of our attributes by five. Quite spicy. Alright. Um, hmm. I wonder, I could also not just... Uh, Use the tell uh, not teleport but the elevator to go to Altus, but I could also just go ahead and uh, go through the Altus tunnel because there's also a dragon uh, something. I mean not not a full dragon, but one of the magma dragons, and he will give me another dragon heart that I could eat and munch down on. Tasty. So I think I might actually do that. I'm gonna have some fun and nostalgia riding up there.
Goodbye. Goku Knight Gauntlets. We can also get that charge with us for even stronger regeneration on our flasks. Wasn't there also a rune arc somewhere very close by? I'm gonna have to check that. I think I remember there was one very close by. And we also have another nice merchant, let's see. But sir, what wares do you sell? I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. Oh no. Oh guy. Rune arcs he sells. And some uh, questionable meat and shields. You know what, I'm just gonna buy one rune arc. Gimme. You know what, actually let's just buy all of them. I don't think I'm ever going to return to this guy, so might as well do that. And now, wait, first, <laughs> before we go through the Altus uh, tunnels, I actually do want to use the Altus uh, the uh elevator thingy, because then we have an easier time of getting our invitation to the Volcano Manor and getting that done. And then we can still uh, get absolutely destroyed by these trebuchets over here. And then we can make our way through the tunnels once more. The first time I went through the tunnels, I actually didn't know that it was actually leading me to the Altus Plateau and I wasn't really, uh, like, I wasn't in the know of what that meant or that it would bring me somewhere else. And when I was finally there, it was such a cool experience. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I just uh, simply explored around and found this. That's amazing. Very nice feeling. Like the first playthrough of this game was really, it was, <laughs> it was more good than it was bad, but there were also some bad things because I still played it on my old PC and they played it consistently below 30 frames per second. And most of the time I was like on 10 frames or something because I was just an older PC and not really up to the task anymore. But it was still so much fun that I pressed onward even despite these circumstances. And now I'm going to, for the first time since then, do the journey once again. <laughs> A moment of quiet for the awesome elevator. <laughs> It takes longer than I remember. <laughs> so much black screen. But we are here now. Now we can fight Radan and also we can get our Volcano Manor invitation. Let's do it. You should stand somewhere on the left there. There we go. Hello there. How are you doing? I've been waiting for you. I knew you had the stuff of champions. I hereby invite you to the Volcano Manor. Take my hand and have audience with my mistress. Give me your hand. I will pray. That you follow the same path as Lady Tanith. Don't you worry, I'm definitely not going to kill her dear Rickard. Haha. <laughs> Don't you worry about that at all. Oh, 
Wonderful. And now we get the grace over here. Wait, can we actually walk out of here? I thought that a uh, door was closed usually when you just get here. What? Oh my god. Um, I'm mildly amazed actually that that actually worked. Now we didn't have to do the whole Mount Gelmir ascent. <laughs> Maybe that's also just a little whoopsie. I'm gonna get one other grace around here. And then just to make sure that uh, I will be able to return here. And then we're going to go back to the tunnels and ascend out of in the old fashioned way. Get jumped, my dude. Hey, Steam. Wow, these guys deal damage. Oh god. <laughs> All of these freaking arrows. I hate arrow guys. I'm gonna jump down on you, you evil arrow guy. Ouch. Nice, I got two of them. Marionette soldier armor even. That must look funny. Right, we're gonna try that out. How about some good fashion souls over here? <laughs> Oh man, metal isn't supposed to uh, bend that way when we're walking. <laughs> Looks funny though. Back to our tasty armor. And banished knight. I want to have more banished knight stuff. I'm going to have to farm those guys a little bit. And get more banished armor stuff. But I'm also not high level enough yet in terms of stamina. I'll be able to use more of that quite yet. I think we should have another grace somewhere over there, if I remember correctly. Seems like we can't get up there anymore. Then maybe I'll just get the grace in front of the uh, also right the tree spirit. Which to be honest we could also just try and eat that one since we have lots of fire damage. And we could also get that awesome uh, tier that will give us unlimited mana for I think it was 15 seconds you guys said. A lot of dragon breath fun. A map of Mount Galmir. Alright. And to replenish stuff. And then... Time to move on. And burn down the ulcerated tree spirit. But also wasn't here one of these worm faces. <laughs> I'm... I'm a little bit scared of them. They are disgusting. EF. What's the worm face? Hmm. Yo, boys. Huh? You're not the worm face. I think you're one of those explodey boys. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh boy! Oh my god, there's the worm face! Oh god! <laughs> oh no, wait, he's gonna death blight the area. Oh god! Freaking worm face, disgusto! Oh. Nah! Nah, man, I'm good! Oh god! That's disgusting! 
jump this boy. What? The, the damage. Oh my god. The damage. I'm gonna jump down on your freaking head. Oh, he's trying to grab and eat me. Oh, no! Oh my god, look at this HP! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> look at his freaking HP, man! He had like one HP left. No! No! <laughs> Not the disgusting worm face. Ooh. <laughs> the worm face. Ooh. How dare you do this to me? Flame mm. grant me strength. I feel like they altered the spawn in the past. I never had to kill this guy in order to spawn a worm face. Strange. Oh no, that's a lot of death light for. Oh, oh god, oh god, not not the death light, please. Ugh. That looks brutal and disgusto, oh god. Oh god, he's gonna explode again. Yeah. Why oh, you gotta do this to me, bomb face? Nah. Nah. This stuff is so disgusting. Oh, oh god. Ouchie. I wanted to jump onto that uh, rock over there, but uh, that's not what the game decided should happen. Whoopsie. That was a good hit. Bite him in the freaking face again. Oh, we're dealing good damage like this. Oh, boy. No, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ah. Uh, just need one more jump. One more tasty. Ah. Uh. Let's go! The evil disgust the boy is dead. Here we go. Now... Go ahead and use flame grant me strength. Oh, fight against the authority tree spirit. There he is. Let's catch flame time. Out. And it's also out time. It deals so much damage. I mean, if we hit it. Look at that damage. 
guy is supposed to be pretty high level compared to me. Uh, I mean, he's now going to probably one-shot me with that. Oh, didn't even. Let's go. But this guy loves freaking fire damage, as all trees do. Oh, explosion time. I'm gonna give you some tasty dragon fire now. Ooh, beautiful. Ouch. That beautiful dragon fire damage down. Ouch. What? But I had to uh, move set down in a better way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh. Ah. No! <laughs> Got the wrong timing because I was a little bit animation locked after the dragon fire. Whoopsie. Dragon fire, 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 dragon fire. Ah. <laughs> I don't have enough mana for a third go yet, but that would be awesome. Can I finish you with dragon fire now? Have fun! Ouch. <laughs> that was a slap while I was dragon firing, but uh, that was enough. Here we go. Leaden heart tear and cerulean hidden tear. There we go. Very useful and very funny that we went here before the altars plateau. <laughs> this is not normally how it goes. Um, but anyways, guess we've got that one now. Also, let me quickly check back to the Cathedral of Dragon Communion because. Uh, I wanted to check again how much faith I need for Grail's Raw. And also, let's jump down on our tasty boy over here because I want that armor set. One shot, yay! Banished Knight Griefs! Oh! Wait, let's see if we have enough. Uh, if we put this one away and then we put this one. Oh, wait, where are them griefs? Here they are. Oh no, we're very... Like, it's very close, but we're in heavy load. And let's see, maybe after defeating the tree spirit I have enough load to with a little bit of stamina. Where this one? Endurance. Max equip load increased. Let's see. Yeah, one medium load, even though we're wearing two of the heavy armor parts. That should be nice as well. Um, we have 53 poise now, and also some respectable resistances, in my opinion. Let's go. Very nice. Also looks nicer if we have an armor set that is actually in that belongs together. All right, then. I guess it's time for the Ascent. Or maybe, oh wait. Actually, I was looking for Grail's Roar as well. We have five Dragon Hearts and we need three for Grail's Roar. 28 Faith is needed to use it. But it should work out uh, as long as we're using the... Faith not tear. Grail's roar has been acquired. And we have eaten more dragon hearts. Do we have the dragon eyes yet? Yeah! <laughs> we have the dragon eyes now, just like on my um, thumbnail. Let's freaking go. We have an eat eaten enough dragon hearts so that we are just starting to turn into a dragon ourselves. And it looks pretty cool. Also, my beautiful boy, would you like to give me your helmet as well? Just asking, London special or not? Out spaced and out London special. Give me your helmet, it looks awesome. 
Ah, oh, that's a shame. No helmet for me. Now. Uh, memorize spell. Ray out the raw. Ah, that needs two slots, I see. Alright, what do we want to get a, like, um, give away for that? Oh, we could just find another memory stone. Let me quickly check if there's one that I was just... <laughs> oh, yes, right, over here, and there was one. Uh, that tower converted. Fringe tower. Alright, you know what? Because I want to use Grail's Raw, I'm actually going to Google now. Uh, hello in there. Google. Elden Ring converted French tower puzzle. Let's see. But, but up the converted fringe town Elden Ring is a tricky one to unlock. Unlike the other Salsa towers, this building requires additional gear in order to open Nyani. Accessing the converted fringe tower requires a specific gesture and helmet. Gesture and helmet. Oh no. We must have the erudition, a gesture and a glintstone crown. Ah, no way. That's, that's why I remember not liking this one. Alright then, guess we're not gonna do that one. Uh, we got that one. Mm -hmm. Is there somewhere? We can get another memory stone. Mm -hmm. We got that one on the Weeping Peninsula as well. And we bought the one in the round table hold. And we got that one over here as well. Seems like we're gonna have to get rid of one of our spells. Let's see. Let's just get rid of Catch Flame because it's too strong. <laughs> you know what? I think that's funny. Catch Flame is a really strong spell, and it's gonna make the game a little bit more difficult if we don't have it. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. <laughs> oh. oh, I totally forgot we also have uh, XX Decay as well. That means I do need another slot. Or oh, I could just exchange something else once again. The heal is actually nice to have, to be honest, because uh, being able to convert some of that abundant mana into HP seems good to me hmm. blame grant me strength I gotta be honest with you I don't really use it that often and since it only works for 30 seconds I don't really like it that much so I think we're gonna just change it up and get XX decay which is also very nice and also give me your helmet dude Give me your helmet. London chomp. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's just a shield. Shame. Now. Radon next or the Ascend next. Let's actually go with Radon since we're already in Kaelid. That will give us some extra tasty freaking runes as well. Hello there, Blave. I've never talked to you. How are you doing? Champions. Alexander. Welcome. Champions. The stars have aligned. The festival is nigh. General Radon, mightiest demigod of the Shattering, awaits you. Champions, prepare for battle. Defeat the general. Claim glory. Glory. Radon Festival. Alright, we're ready. 
or even over leveled for this one. But it's not our fault since we're using <laughs> the gold scarab. That's just to be expected. And a perk of the talisman. The festival begins. I'm ready. Let's watch it again. Begin. Allow me to paint you the full picture. It's so uncomfortable to look at his feet. They are only stumps by now. Eaten from the inside by Melania's scarlet rot, his wits are long gone. Tasty food, yay! Mm. Now he gathers the corpses of former friends and foes alike, gorging on them like a dog. How can a man that likes to eat be bad? Howling at the sky. But now he's just hungry. You just gotta give him a Snickers. Gathering of champions. The rebels begin. The rebels. Celebration of war. The Redan Festival. Ah. He also is using a flamberge, I think. Cool. We're flamberge buddies. Off I go then. Oh, true. I mean, do we have a grace over here or is that just a stake of America? Because I would sure love to actually upgrade my weapon. I think we got a few smithing stones and that would definitely be possible now. But I guess we're strong enough anyways. Ah yes, it's not a grace over here. And to travel to the fight and meet Radan. Whoops. I could have dodged that. I was just for some reason not doing the right thing. Our team, the shotgun shot. Alright, we're drinking this and now we should be able to use Grail's roar. Ouch. Whoa. Move set, but I download the move set once again from uh, in the past. Alright, Grail's roar time. All right, now he's debuffed. And now we can use our other funny stuff. Damn, <laughs> that dealt some damage. Our team. Oh god, thank god I was actually having the right dodge there. Ooh, ooh. Oh, not enough mana, not enough mana for a chompy jump. Our team. Oh, oh. <laughs> Should have jumped over that one. Whoopsie. Hmm, well, my runes gonna be now. Uh oh. 
when I guess it was just 10,000 or so. I mean, hmm, doesn't we're done like a 54,000 or so? So it's like, that's more than 20% or so, or about 20% of the total yield. So actually, it would make sense to go get them again. Hmm. Um, it is actually. <laughs> you know, after this many playthroughs, I was still ready to try if you can actually just sidestep it, but it wasn't possible. Whoopsie. Our team running right into these shotgun shots. All right, by alto, let's go. All right, and then soon. How about how about a little bit of XX decay as well? A little bit of Scarlet Rot for our friends. I'm losing too much HP, it's just absolutely mangling me at the moment. See, ah, he is blighted now. My boy is blighted now. Enjoy. Does that remind you of millennia? Sure sucks. <laughs> all right, all right. Time for a good old heal. And then we mount up so we don't get hurt by this. Oh. Alright. How about these things? He almost dead. The Scarlet Rod will finish it for me. Hee hee hee. There we go. Tasty. Oh, there was more runes than I expected. Oh, uh, and I didn't even check how many it was. Well, it was, oh, it was pretty cool still. <laughs> Although, Dragon Communion spells damage. Damage and also having our golden scarab being over leveled like that, even though we didn't even like do anything crazy that you're not supposed to do, like right? <laughs> we're just we're just running through all the stuff that is available to us um, at the right level, and we're gathering extra extra runes because of the golden scarab. And now Nocron is open to us as well. Nice. Ah, Radan was one of Switch Axe's, uh, Switch X Gaming's favorite bosses, I see. I think the first, uh, like, let me think about this. The first time I've beaten Radan was actually very sad because, um, I was super over leveled since I thought he would be a late game boss and I didn't even know how to get to him. Like, uh, I didn't know you were only able to get to Radan once you get to the Alto Plat Altos Plateau first, for the first time, and then he's unlocked. So when I finally found out where he is, I was already in the mountaintop of the giants and was ridiculously over leveled. And I just uh, beat him easily first try with just, I don't know, a few hits. And that was pretty sad. But uh, the second time I've beaten him was way more difficult because I went there earlier to make it a true challenge. But 
I never got the full Radan pre-nerf experience because of that. That's the sad thing if you don't let yourself get spoiled by too many things, because then sometimes you miss out on stuff like this, because I literally didn't know how it worked with Radan. <laughs> it's just a little bit sad. All right, let's see. <laughs> If we go to 23 faith and then we have our faith talisman that means we should be able to use grails raw without the flask but i don't think we quite need that yet let's go to 30 arcane because it looks cool and then maybe some more endurance and mind so we can wear better armor and use more of our mana flasks all right i totally forgot we also have a crypt in this land of Radan over here. I would have liked to see what Kalad was actually like in the past when it wasn't yet blighted by Millennia's uh, uh, rot yet. Would have been nice to see how these plains lush and green. <laughs> And the rest of Khaled as well. It's just such a rotten, mutated hellscape. It's just wah, wah. It would have been nice to see before all of that. Where are we actually looking here? Oh, that is the minor air tree. And the dragon barrel. Hmm. It's nice how everything is so connected. We're nearing the entrance and then we'll have another beautiful, uh, not quite beautiful, but disgusting also the tree spirit to fight. But this time without um, catch flame. <laughs> Let's see if Agil's flame will be usable against them as well, hopefully. Hello my dudes, hope y'all having a grand old time. I'm just here to go and get my friend, the also right the tree spirit. Oh, guess I can't just run through here, we'll first have to find a lure to open the door. Should have expected that, I guess. Whoa, that's like 60% at least of my what that guy wasn't even what <laughs> what was that so first up the gravity arrow by that knight hit me for like 60% of my max HP and then the other guy was just gone and killed me while he was in uh, invisible or was that another arrow that I just couldn't see not one of the gravity arrows but Anyways, that's pretty spicy, not gonna lie. Uh, we're gonna go with Dragon Maw over here. These evil boys, man. These guys are hardcore. Damn it, should have used it sooner. Ah, uh, yes, this was probably a normal arrow that finished me off. These guys are a little bit strong. Ouch. Wow, what a trade. These guys 
What is the level of these guys? These guys scare me more than freaking Radan himself. Seriously, man. These guys are just hardcore. London special for our ghost. I oh, know he has a dagger. He also wants to give me the London special. Or oh, mate, you heard about our special mate. Probably not here. Yeah. Not yet. Oh no, big poise boy. Oh, I managed to poise break him. Let's go. There you go. Oh, freaking ambush him. Rude. Ah, London special, and the back. Beautiful. Next up, another scary boy. Whoa. He just straight up blocked it. Alright, that worked. Worked. Another one. Oh. Gary. Another one. Nice. Ah, and we can finish him off with the London special. How beautiful is that? Q. Alright, let's see. What's that lure to open up? the way to the ulcerated tree spirit. Also, I'm a little bit scared. It's gonna be super scary now. Mm. Is that gonna be it? I think so. Oh no, not the gargoyles. Oh. Everything seems way over leveled compared to Radan. And we even have a clean rod knight. That's a lot of damage. But I think they have less poise than the other knights, so you might be able to just stagger them. Ouch, ouch. Ouch. That almost killed me. What the hell? We poised through his attack, but took a lot of damage in the process. Almost got killed. Three thousand frickin' runes though for that one. <laughs> Damn. Red down soldier ashes. And London special finisher. Cool. 1.5k runes. These catacombs are crazy. I'm gonna do the same with this one. Let's go. How many? Alright, we do have two mana flasks left. Down throw stones at me. Alright, now we're just gonna make sure we can beat this spicy man over here. 
Be scary. Have I uh, enough range? I did have enough range, nice. Do it again. Oh. He, oh. oh god. Don't have HP flasks anymore. Wait a minute, I'm just... Just give me this one. Then I won't have to be sad if I don't make it. Alright, I still have some HP regeneration with this one. Stop it! Get boys broken, get boys broken! Oh no. Nice. Uh, do it again, do it again. Kill him, kill him, kill him. <laughs> Scary. Lion's claw. Yeah, we tanked through it and managed to kill him. Damn, that was scary. Let's quickly stock up on all of our stuff once again. And then we're gonna go ahead and try the ulcerated tree spirit in here. Hmm. I wonder if I should start with Axe Decay. So we're gonna have some extra percentage damage in him. We have one level up. Let's put that into mind. I was just thinking, should I go ahead and use my new tier? We could have faith and then also 15 minutes of unlimited mana. Sounds like great fun, actually. Faith and then Julian Hidden Tier eliminates all f uh, FP. What, what is F once again? I mean mana, but what is that worth? That word that they're using instead of mana. Anyways, who cares? We're gonna have extra faith and we're gonna have unlimited mana for 15 seconds. And then we're gonna splurge some dragon fire into this guy's face. Until we don't have enough stamina to go on anymore, I guess. Alright, drink that shit, and it's time to spear some goddamn dragon fire. Ouch. Oh, that didn't last long. That doesn't really seem like it's very viable. Ah! Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, this guy just, it's so hard. Ouch. Yeah, I don't think that worked very well, unfortunately. Ah. Alright then. Guess this is gonna be another, um, um, dragon jump kind of situation. But it should still maybe use Grail's Roar against him because that reduces his defenses and also um, the amount of damage he deals, which is always going to be very good for me. And then we can see what we will do from there. Ah. Uh, my 15 seconds are running out, my dude. Alright, let's go. Ouchie. Oof. <laughs> the damage of this boy. I'll put some decay on you. 
and join. Oh, I wasn't able to inflict them with the rod completely. Damn, one hit and I'm losing 70%. <laughs> Is he inflicted now? Uh, doesn't seem to be the case. Maybe because he's a rotted um, ulcerated tree spirit that doesn't even work. Lucky me. Best thing still seems to be just jumping down. Uh, dragon jump still the best. Jump in his face. Nice damage. Oh, run away, run away, run away, run away. <laughs> nah! <laughs> Disability every single time. But also, we know that uh, rotting this guy is not a option. Good to know. Next time we'll probably have him. Hmm. No rot allowed, but Grey also raw is always appreciated. Scary, scary. Uh, I wonder if the debuff is now on him. Uh, I didn't quite really notice, but I guess I still have unlimited mana. Let's try again. Ah, now it, it got him, but he also got me, and oh shit, it's Scarlet Rod. Uh, flame cleanse me. Wow, he killed me. Let's go. <laughs> uh, that was a little bit unfortunate. Whoopsie. Better not get hit by the grab that absolutely destroys you and puts Scarlet Rod on top of you as well. One more time. We got him. Doesn't deal as much damage anymore now. Alright, that was decent damage, I guess. Oh, he's also using fire. No! Okay, okay, we're still alive though. And also... He only deals like 60% damage per attack to me now instead of 70. Isn't that great? We went from a two shot to a two shot. And the freaking lingering hitbox of this freaking tail as well. Mr. Johnny Cat, good day to you. Hello, Elden people. We are playing the Elden game for the Elden people. But. Grail's Raw does not only reduce the damage they deal to us, but also they increase the damage we deal to him because they have reduced defenses. So let's do this again. Yes, I'm just gonna leave the dragon fire behind and gonna go over to dragon chumpy chumps. I didn't know he actually dealt damage while getting out of his hole there. Whoops. Alright, we got him with that. Now it's still some freaking damage. Ouch. That's what he said. No more 
unlimited mana, but we only need them chumpies. Nice. Uh, not a hit. I didn't even expect that one to hit. Nice. Uh, very nice. Let's jump him in the face for extra damage. Beautiful. That's good damage. Ouch. Oof. That's good damage too. Oh no. Oh my god. Just getting routinely two shot is pretty spicy. And we don't even have like, I don't know, 7% lifesteal on our weapon like for Fatalis. I mean, obviously this boss is far from being as challenging as Fatalis. It was just something that reminded me of Fatalis because we got one, uh, I mean, two shot there basically all the time as well. Okay, so we're gonna go back to Grail's Roar and let's go. I got my beautiful glowing dragon eyes over here. Hey, they're not even glowing that much, actually. I was scammed. Well, well, scary. I'm just gonna use it again while we have unlimited mana. Well, ouch. Ouch. Out. Place the dragon jumps and let's go. At the very least, this guy is easy to hit because his hitbox is so freaking huge. And let's go ahead and jump down on his head. Nice. Uh, he exploding, exploding, ouch. Being able to run away from that explosion is so difficult. More jumpies, let's go. Another one. Oh, is he exploding again? No, all right. Oh no, at this time. Please don't explode in my face, I would love that. Alright, alright, jump down on him. That's gonna be another one, let's go, let's go. Oh, I missed, let's go, jump him. Nice, and he's staggered, time to finish him. Take the London special and get out of here. There we go. Seventy-six thousand runes. Now that's freaking tasty. I can appreciate that. And to return to the entrance. And now we can finally make our way up the Altus Plateau tunnels. <laughs> uh, let's start maybe somewhere over here with our boy Smithing Master E.G. And to learn more stuff, we should have two more levels. Also a new charge to the flask, very nice. Level up, let's go. One mana and one endurance. And actually, we should be able to probably do the Great Jaws uh, challenge very soon. And that should give us even more uh, equipment space. And then we should be able to maybe wear some more armor with that as well. But let's head up the tunnel first.
I'm still gonna get jumped down by all of these small enemies so much. <laughs> it feels so strange. Like, I've never played a true glass cannon build of like, light armor and stuff. And I'm still wearing heavy armor now, even if it's just uh, chest and uh, legs. And um, I just don't know what it's like to play this game if you're just having no armor at all. <laughs> that must be so frustrating though. Like every single small enemy can just absolutely destroy you. That must be so annoying. I mean, they're still destroying me now, I feel like. So I'm terrified to f like, I don't know, to learn what it's like once uh, you're wearing even less armor than I'm currently wearing. Twitch access gaming says favorite boss is Godfrey, Elden Lord, the old guy's strength is amazing. Yeah, he is a very cool boss as well. Especially when he changes over and decides it's time to not play around anymore. And now you fight Hora Lu Warrior. That is a super cool moment. Oh, there's actually another golden seat down here. I didn't even remember that. Nice. Uh, always good to keep exploring. All right, we found the grace and this is the point where we'll start our ascent. But also, I'm just gonna have a very short moment of AFK and uh, so I'll be ready when we start our ascent towards the Altus Plateau and I'll be right back. And don't worry, just like, I don't know, f five minutes or something. <laughs> be right back. And we are back again with food and drink, or my, not actually food, but uh, but actually drink. Drink is actually true. <coughs> drink has been restored. <coughs> Basically, I restored all of my, my flasks in real life as well. Oh, wait a moment, just feels like... Mm, I've got my microphone 
Mm -hmm. Is this all right? Why do I feel so much more quiet than before? I want to listen to myself. Ah, ah, this looks ni sounds nicer. Looking good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not sure. I guess it's all right. Mm, but I want it to be louder. Mm. Anyways, maybe I'm going to drink a little bit of water. The ascent to the Altus Plateau has begun. I can hear you. All right, then. I guess it's only in my brain, in my fox brain. Past. For some reason, I feel like I'm a little bit more quiet than before, but also I feel like my ears feel a little bit strange, so... Hmm. What strange things did I do that my ears feel strange now? Oh, no. Can we lock onto anything? Ah, uh, one of these boys. Enjoy a lightning spear. Goodbye. Smithing stone 4. Right, that's also something we can do. We should be able to update my sword quite a bit now. Or we'll upgrade it. At some point, I think we had some poison traps somewhere around here. Mm hmm. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's these small evil boys over here. Splat! Enjoy. Vulgar militia griefs. There's another one and another one in hiding. Try your worst, you evil little boys. Reckon imp men, vulgar imps. Ah, there's the poison, but also we can just use flame cleanse me. Later, suckers. Well, rude. You guys here are giving me 212 runes apiece. And when we fought them in the Dragon Barrow, they gave me more than 1,000 <laughs> with the um, gold pickled fowl foot, 1,700 something. So it's funny that this is leading us to the Altus Plateau and the area further to the east, which was easier to get to than here, I would say. I mean, or at the very least, that's in terms of when you're getting there it's just so over leveled it feels really strange why they did it like this i don't really have to do this to them but they annoyed me in the past with the big thick um resistance their physical resistance and now we're just giving them the freaking lightning to the face or maybe to the back Number smithing stone four. I need a number five. I need a number five. Oh, this guy chilling over there. Who allowed you to chill? Who said this was a comfy stream? This is actually a, uh, 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 the Kitsune does what she wants stream. Ha, bet you didn't know that one. Oh, arranged. Not bad. Oh, another one. Rune arc. Thank you, my dude. I like rune arcs. You know what? I think I'm gonna eat one of those rune arcs right now. Oh, I, f I forgot. I need to uh, go to a, um, oh, what's it called? A grace to activate the great rune. And then, only then, I can use one of the rune arcs to make them actually do something. Wasn't that one of these guys that exploded? Let's check it. It is an explodey boy. I remembered. Some must have been stone four. 
Blood for the Blood God. Well, this is the most blood adjacent world I've played since I've started streaming, I guess. So, there you go. Blood, uh, blood for the Blood God. Blood loss for the Blood God. Ah, and now we have an opportunity to activate our greater rune. Godric's great room has been slotted, and now time to use the rune arc. Phew! And now all of my stats have been improved by five until I die, which will obviously never happen again because we're just too strong. <laughs> and I would never just. <laughs> Jump into an open elevator shaft and die like an idiot. <laughs> Couldn't happen to me. Oh. What could happen to those though? Splat. Oh god, I hope this thing doesn't uh, throw me down. Oh god, what have I done? The fear of falling down somewhere is even greater when you have a freaking rune arc activated on you. Ah, you evil Batsies. Come on. Masami would never. That's right. I would never jump into an open elevator shaft. <laughs> Ah, the Latin singing. I always enjoyed that. Got splashed. I apologize that I have to do this. Phew. Ah, nice. That actually hit. I felt like it looked like it wouldn't hit, but it sure did. Get a golden rune. What? Slut. <laughs> ah, it's so satisfying to just give them a little blitz in the face and they're gone. <laughs> that is what a comfy stream is all about. Blitzing your enemies with one swift strike in the face. <laughs> this guy sneaking around how cute i'm pretty sure i did something similar though on my first playthrough <laughs> evil tentacle stuff oh and we have more latin uh, singing nice too mm -hmm. Something stone number four. And lots of tentacle boys here as well. I like that they have, like, um, what I talked about when I started playing these, um, or at least in this playroom, that they have. These bats with human heads that are basically sirens of the skies. Have the beautiful Latin singing. But sadly, that's over now. <laughs> Look at them creeping towards me. Get blitz in the face. Get on. Oh, Hot. Evil Glintstone stuff. 
Imagine. Imagine using evil golden stone stuff on me. And we aren't even in the Mage Academy. What a great view. Behold, great view. I rode ahead, but you don't have to ride. Oh, you don't have to ride. <laughs> Why are you saying this like me, uh, to me? Rude. I do have to ride. I'll, I'll get the ride. I mean, actually, I do have to ride because I do have the Dectus medallion finished, which means I do have the ride to just use the high road and use that elevator over there. And I already did it. I'm just going here because it's cool and and some more beautiful stuff to check out in this game. Ah, this should be our magma drake. Well then, grey also raw, and then we're gonna bite him, or maybe we're gonna even blight him. Ah, so many good things we can do as dragon communion enjoyer. Hello, there, magma dragon boy. Whoa. Couch him. There you go. How about a little bit of blight? He blighted. He's not yet blighted. I want to finish the blighting. I think now he's blighted. Yep. We have a lot of freaking magma on the ground. Fight them! We deal in too much damage to this boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, magma worm Makar. We've had some great fun together. Not a Draken. Hard to munch on down on. Mmm, yum yum yum. Finally, some nice snacks that I can get behind. Dragon snacks. Let's see how much runes we have. Give me all of the many runes. Enough for one level up at least. Done. Oh, wait. Right, we're still wearing that uh, great rune, which means we should have enough endurance to maybe um, use a little bit more uh, armor. I'm gonna check that out. Also, we're increasing mines this time. Yes, now we have basically... It looks like we have the same amount of... Uh, Stamina and mana, and that looks very cool. I like that. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Do we have enough for uh, my beloved pumpkin head? No, heavy load. But we can wear this helmet, but it doesn't really look like it's... Mm, uh, it's uh, fitting. Mm, this guardian mask has a lot of immunities, to be honest. Immunity, robustness, focus, vitality... Not a lot of poise, but we already have a lot of poise, so why not use that for now? And then we're also gonna use maybe some nice gauntlets over here. And now we're still on med load, but due to the great room, we are a little bit tougher now. It's funny to think back and uh, remember that I felt like in the beginning when I was here, it felt like it took a really long time to have this ascent. And I guess it also makes sense because you're way more like uh, um, careful when you go up this thing for the first time, right? And now I'm just running through it and I already know what's happening and stuff like that. And back then I was like, oh shit, what is, what is going to be behind the next corner? And this is... Ah, 
I'm getting a little bit shivers right now because this is nostalgia for me. I've never actually went uh, through this tunnel again after my first playthrough. So this is now actually first playthrough nostalgia for me. That is very cool. Oh, I don't think I've ever went to the left side over here as well. Nyani. Oh no, what untold treasures we could find around here. Maybe nothing, but you know, maybe something. One of the um, most amazing ashes of war, perhaps. Ash of war, sacred order. Oh, that sounds pretty awesome. I don't know what it does though. And check it out soon, maybe. Next time we're sitting at a grace. Meh. Ah, oh, looks like we have some perfume on boys and girls over here. That this little powder stuff over here gave them some kind of shield. Interesting. You never get up to altars this way. Well, like I said, I only did it this way on my first playthrough ever. And after that, I never did it again because of what oh, I can just go through the freaking... Uh, oh, what's it called? The deck this... Uh, elevate them. Oh, I thought this guy was going to be really, really ouchy and scary, but he was one shot. Oh, omen color stuff. Oh. Omen color robe, long gloves, and boots. Let's see how heavy that stuff is, actually. Oh, it's rather light, actually. I have 16.5 on my normal armor, and this one is 7.1. Alright, then. I'm to go back. Another perfume uh, person over here. How about the lightning sphere? They are a little bit resistant, I guess. But I know something that these goddamn freaking blooms are not resistant to, which is dragon fire. Enjoy. There's a third way up the Altus Plateau as well. Oh, I didn't even know. What's that? Maybe, maybe one of the teleporters or something. Perfume bottle. Ah, two of one stroke. How nice. What do we have over here? No hidden path ahead. Thank you. Well, I fell down. Need to get up and see what we can actually get over here. More perfume bottles. Can you actually craft with those? I mean, probably. Otherwise, that would be useless. I guess that was everything we can find here, right behind that. Oh, something in there. Okay. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Nest and butterfly. Well, anyways, flame cleanse me. Plop. Goodbye, poison. Why is there a stake of America here? 
Maybe because of the omen killer, but he seemed to have very low HP to be honest. Hmm. Underground tomb ahead. What? Likely butterfly. Ah, friendship. Wait, how many appraisals does the underground tomb have? 77. Over there. Ooh, nice. That's probably something that I haven't been before. Something where I haven't been before, I mean. Give me the tasty free stuff. Gold firefly. Yeah. That looks promising. Guess we're gonna go ahead and get out our land then. And then we're gonna have to make sure that we don't lose our uh, rune arc over here. Sage's cave. Never been here before. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Crystal cave moss. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. It would have been too silly if that was not actually a hidden path. Yeah. Oh. Scaly boys. That was definitely into um you know, that part, but he's dead already, so I guess it's not that bad. Yeah. Not a path. I guess people started jumping down here because they didn't check for the hidden path. <laughs> this is where the dead flail is. What's a dead flail? Also, these two things just sitting here scare me. Are they just going to teleport me somewhere? Guess we're gonna find out. Uh, lost ashes of war. Rejuvenating boluses. Oh no, for what they're good. What they're good for. I don't know if no idea. Silver fireflies. Hmm, more skelly boys. But there also was a f another hidden path, I think, so. And it feels like they're uh, not going to the same things. Let's check it out. Oh, hello there, Skelly boys. Let's jump down on all of them. Yeah, <laughs> that was great. Wow, what the hell? I've never been here and there's so much freaking stuff over here. Let's check it out, shall we? So I'll pick out foul foot. That's gonna be useful once we try to uh, farm the armor set from the vanished knight and the uh, mountaintops. Black hood. Candle tree wooden shield. Nurse and butterfly. Overall. Alright then. But it's free stuff and good to know. The family heads is a flail that features someone's family as the heads and the scaling letters just so happens to spell out dead. <laughs> I see. Oh, that's why. Ouchie. This man deals damage and he also has a lot of HP.
Here we go. Time to continue onwards. I'm just so happy that I'm <laughs> that some uh, going down a path I haven't been before. Let's see. Stone sword key. Always appreciate it. Even more freaking just everywhere. Dragon wound grease. Raptor talons. Golden great arrow. Ten of them. Be wary of jumping. Mm hmm. Don't want to lose my great room. What's here? Hidden path ahead. All right, and over there. Seek boss. There a boss over here. Oh, that is a boss. Well then, getting ready with Grail's raw. Black knife assassin. Ah, oh, I see you. Oh, ooh, ouchie, 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 we got stabbed. We got stabbed. They're freaking invisible, but we can still deal damage with AoE. Ah, oh, I didn't really hit him there, I think. Where's she at? Where, where are you at? Where are they at? I'm gonna use Grey Ultra again. <laughs> Still not dealing any damage to them. How am I gonna do this? Oh. Ouchie. There they are. Alright, this time we hit them with the A AoE. Ah, I can see the debuff. I can see the debuff. Let's go. That's so smart. That's amazing. You know what? I'm just gonna do it again. Oh no. They grabbed me again. I need to reapply the debuff so I can keep seeing them. There we go. Alright, we can... We, since I can see them, I can just long range fire them up let's go eat the fire yeah <laughs> this is the smartest outplay that i've uh, unwittingly gone to so far our team but that, that is hilarious and cool oh, come on <laughs> don't worry you i'll give you another batch of dragon fire right in the face yeah! <laughs> Let's freaking go! Concealing Veil. I wonder. Is that a talisman? It is. It conceals the wearer while crouching away from foes. I'm really interested to see if that actually, like, does that just make me invisible? Or, uh, or maybe it's reducing the likelihood of me getting um uh seen that was cool i didn't think my build was so like so wonderful and actually countering that invisibility because <laughs> we just got the aoe going the EO aoe debuff and then we were able to see them and this one should be a hidden path, I think. That's a good talisman. So, does that actually, like, make me harder to detect? Or does it, how does it work? Raptor's black feathers. Wait, isn't that the one that enhances... Isn't that the one that enhances your jump attacks or something? Oh. I don't know. I've, I've seen people use this so often. Let me check. It sure seems like the one that enhances the... Uh, jump attacks but it doesn't say it anywhere so I'm not sure Sc 
skeletal mask. That sounds pretty cool. That wasteless and then oh my god in mask. And also generally has the worst stats in anything else. But let's see how it looks. Looks kinda cool to be honest with you. <laughs> Another boss. Ah, oh, wait. Had, did we have a grace or something? Boss, I don't want to lose my rune arc. Oh god, can I jump up there? I, I don't think I'm gonna risk that. <laughs> it makes you a lot harder to detect while crouching. Also makes you invisible until a certain range in PvP. Oh, that's really cool, actually. Wow. And I've never been here. Right, since we're fighting a boss now, I'm actually going to go back to this one since it has greater effects than the other one. Why is that freaking glintstone scarab so freaking heavy? Anyways, uh, let's start off with Rayol's Raw once again. They'll have one mana and two HP. Alright then. Let's try not to lose our freaking Oh, Necromancer. <laughs> Ouch. Oh damn, that doesn't work out. Uh I lost a bit too much HP with trying to use this stuff. Alright, and we got the small side thing dead as well. Wait, wait, why is, why is my weapon gone? What? I mean, at the very least I have uh, dragon fire and stuff, but I'm a little bit annoyed at that. Stop it with these thingies. Where are my weapon gone? Ouch, ouch. Oh god, what the hell? What the hell? This is not good. I don't wanna die, my dudes. Um, I think I'm gonna have to need to jump him down with the next one. Nah, my rune arc is gone. Oh no, man, that's that's like mean. I didn't know I had to fight two of them in a row uh, without being able to replenish my resources. Right, it was the right direction now. Uh Right, also what what the hell is wrong with my weapon? Right, did I just uh did I just roll it away with my mouse cast thingy? I'm so confused. That flail OP? No, it isn't. I was just unprepared for the fact that I had to fight another boss. Oh shit, I'm fat rolling. Whoopsie. I was just unprepared for f having to fight another boss after the first one where I was just spending all of my resources. Oh, really? No, I don't want to die. Oh, boy. I'm fat rolling. Oh shit. No, that's the wrong one. Oh, oh god. 
think I had like 20,000 runes or so, so not the world, but still something I would like to not lose. There we go. Now we should be in front of him again. I'm gonna use another rune arc because frick that freaking guy. Now I'm gonna freaking munch down on him. Just you wait. Ah, oh, nah. Yeah, that's right. Take that freaking damage. Ouch. This freaking stuff over here also deals a lot of damage. Goodbye, jackass. <laughs> Evil man. The family adds. Well now, at the very least, I was able to experience something new, and that's even before the DLC is out. How nice. Even if it was an evil boy like that where I wasn't ready for that I had to fight two bosses in a row the weapon is in actually let me check those scalings that spell out dead hmm. well, they don't spell out dead for me at the very least it's E, E and C or maybe it's dead once uh, you've uh, upgraded the family yet. That's probably it. Funny that it has in scaling. Pretty cool, I never knew that this stuff was here. <laughs> Probably because I've only been here one time before. Hello there my Omen friends, how you doing? Ah, scary. Don't hug me without asking for consent, you monster. <laughs> the teacher's kill his friend. Damn boy. One thousand three hundred a piece. Mom. The blood laws are starting them, and now the London special does too. Thank you for replenishing my flasks. Hmm, it's that over here. Ruler's mask and also ruler's robe. Hmm. Oh yeah, we've got a beautiful dragon friend over here. I remember that. Way out wrong. Our team. Lanciax. But he won't allow us to actually kill him because he will run away. I remember getting cucked like that. <laughs> Get blighted. Oh, wait. 
has fire even when it's below him. Yeah, I I'm gonna blight you. Okay, wait, well, I'm offended. Oh. Oh, al already gone. I thought we would at least be able to have a little bit more fun, but I guess that's it. like this is probably the most organic way for most people in the first playthrough if they didn't get spoiled to get to the altus plateau right because usually nobody knows where the hell the two medallions are the two pieces of the medallion like you'd probably find the one in uh limgrave but the one in Kaled <laughs> randomly it's at high level as well so i'm not sure at the very least, I didn't find it back then. Ah, oh. we have some extra stuffies over here. Golden seat. Let's replenish everything. And time to get up. I think there should be another Tibia Marina over here as well. So much beauty to behold over here. This looks really nice. Really cool. And we're so close to the archery now. Tibia Marina front. Let's see, can I actually use... No, I cannot use my dragon and uh, communion stuff while I'm on horseback. That would have been funny though. Where did our mariner friend get to? Ah. We're gonna jump down on him. Let's go. Jump! Ah, the guy actually has some HP. In. Impressive. But he gets poison broken. Do it again. Ha ha ha. Tasty. My dragon is hungry. <laughs> the way he just freaking rolls over his own guys. Oh, that was not in range. Let's do it one more time. And goodbye. Oh, these boys are still here actually. Interesting. Death fruit. Let's go for a quadra jump. Nice. Alright then, we jumped down on our boy, now we can continue. This should be more wonderful stuff over here, I believe. Over there is a crypt, and in this canyon, I actually forgot where that leads. Does that actually lead towards Mount Gelmir? Or is that something else? Well, right. Ah, yes, yes. I remember. Like the first time I found this thing over here, I was like, "What? You can't even see that. It's so dark against the wall." <laughs> Windham catacombs. Don't mind if I do. Also, I level up. We're gonna go with uh, some spicy mind.
Oh, oh. Ah, it's one of those with the traps. Evil stuff. Mm -hmm. Yanni. Oh, the guys are just throwing that stuff. I see him. Ouch. London special for this little gargoyle as well. Let's go ahead and use the heal for that one. And one more dead. Is the What is this guy doing? <laughs> Look at them. Just showing us his get freaking whatever the hell kind of album he's selling i don't want it thank you i have self-respect Slime moves up. They have too much resistance. Oh no. How much for this one though? That one works much better, but I think they probably won't actually give me a lot of runes. Let's finish one of them. Yeah, let's see. 145. I have standards, my dude. We have a tasty boy over here. Grail Thrawn! Ouch. Grail Thrawn doesn't have the same hyper armor that we get with uh, the chump. Ouch. Ouchie. Scary man, scary man. Chump time. Damn, it just freaking use this shield for the jump down to trade no no not the stalker don't give me smooches that's disgusting that's that's non-consensual disgusting Oof. these guys never stop I should use a little bit more mana. Also, ah. Well. <laughs> and a freaking gargoyle. I wonder what we can get inside here. How many stone... Uh... Keys do I have? Three. Mm, I don't think I want to experiment if I only have three of them. Hmm. Yeah. No. Loaded little gargoyle. What you looking at? Yeah, I have more range than you. Enjoy. Oh no. We have one of the strong boys over here. <laughs> you know what? Well, I am feeling myself, so I'm just gonna make this guy freaking rot. Oh, hello there, Mr. Gargoyle. Oh, ouch, ouch. That's like one of the more brawny gargoyles. Oh no, he saw me. No. Ouch. No, no, my perfect plan didn't work out. Oh no. I guess that's good too. 
Fuck, that's so delayed. Damn. Oh, but Dragon Maw's good voice break. London special it is. A heavy door has opened. Wait, we have another goggled boy over here. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> the way you ragdolled down there. Locked hatchet has been acquired. And how many? Oh, damn it! Damn it! I forgot about this. Once again, this trap. They want me to use a single stone sword key. I guess we can try it out. I want to see what we get here. Lightning Scorpion Charm. That is actually not useless with my belt since I'm also using Dragon Cult stuff, not just Dragon Communion. So I want to deal some bang and lightning damage. We can use that for it. I didn't even make it over there. Ah, oh, I'm sure it doesn't have anything cool. Ah. Freaking convention meetups of all the guys trying to hug. Oh no. Oh no. Up we go, and then we'll have another boss. Don't step onto the traps. There we go. And to replenish all of our stuff, and then have another boss fight. I think it's probably not a um, archery burial dog or what they're called. Guess we'll find out. Mm hmm. 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 Yep, there it is. Get fired! Ouch. Wait, I didn't... I, wait, what? I don't remember these guys actually being able to use ranged effects as well. Our team. Ranged attacks are actually on the menu! Not bad, my dude. Our team. Oh. Alright, how about a chump? Oh, nice. Got him. Goodbye, Archery Boreal Watchdog. Oh. Glove Watts pick us bell bearing one. Oh. Didn't you know that? <laughs> because I don't use spirit ashes. <laughs> There we go. Ah, I just remembered. I've been wanting to go back to the round table hold and uh, apply some upgrades to my sword for quite some time now. And the funniest thing is, after this, I intend to run over to the, um... The mines inside the Altus Plateau as well, get the bell bearing there and hopefully also get another number stone bell bearing. Or maybe just get a level 5 summer stone. Alright, let's see. Smithing stone 4. No, smithing stone 5. And 5 again. Ah, we're missing 3. We probably can go there. 
But my flamberge is now at plus 15, which is pretty spicy. We have 100 blood plus build up now. That's pretty awesome. I underestimated that. But also the the normal damage, I guess, isn't that <laughs> crazy, to be honest with you. I still feel like it was a slight scam. We were at blood flamberge plus 15 now. And we still didn't get a better arcane scaling than D. It's still dexterity that's the best scaling, which is mildly strange to me. So I don't know who suggested. <laughs> I mean, I watched a video where one of them suggested getting the flamberge because of the arcane scaling. And I'm like, what? That doesn't even work out. It doesn't even have a different scaling than the others. And then the blood loss just uh, gets transferred over. Hmm. Strange. Anyways. Anyways. We return. But also, I mean, a moment, let me just quickly <laughs> check out. There's a Elden Ring Samba Smithing Stone 5. Because that's the only one in the, um, like, in the queue that we need. And then we can have uh, 6 and 7 upgrades as well. Let's see. Deep Silver Well Grace. Found by looting a corpse inside a large stone ruin at the highest level of the Silver River. Kargaul Cave. Two stones of keys are required to enter. Uah. Volcano Manor. One can be found on a corpse hanging off of a ledge in Volcano Manor's dungeon. After going up the cage, lift. Uh, we found inside the Altus Tunnel. Uh, what? The Altus Tunnel? In a second cavern. Head up the wooden platform and Look along the walls on the right to find the stone. What? In the Altus Tunnel. Damn. Nick straight up didn't see that one. Get up the wooden platform and look along the walls on the right to find the stone. Well, I'm gonna try that one out then. Hmm. Uh, Alright, they said in the second cavern of the Altus Tunnel. Hmm. In the second cavern, head up the wooden platform and look along the walls on the right. Alright, second cavern. Go along the walls on the right and uh, go up a wooden platform. Good day, Stingy. Let's see why I even overlooked that. Because usually I'm like, oh, alright. And this is the first cavern. And just making sure there isn't something here. <laughs> That I also didn't find for some reason. Da 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 da. Lantern. I don't know, dude. How you doing? We're still in the first cavern. Is that considered the second cavern? I wonder. <laughs> What's on the right? Mm hmm. No. Nah. Or is it maybe still just, so just considered the first cavern to get out of the other piece of it? Living stone 4 and 4. The very least that's new and didn't find it before. Hello, my dudes. How are you doing? Jumpy time. What? Not a single one. Oh, maybe it was that. Oh, 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 was that the one? 
That was probably the one. Also, that's super scary to get to. Wow. What the hell? That is... That is taking so much time. That wasn't the one. Wait, where, where was it? Oh, there it was. Okay. That's still so high up. I'm scared. It's going so freaking fast, man. Like, oh my god. <laughs> but I know where to look now. I know how to look in this direction. Alright, got it. I don't want to lose my rune arc for this kind of stuff. It's going to be super funny, by the way. Alright, we're getting closer. Closer. Time to die. Oh, smithing stone five. Wait, did I not say... No, I I'm said samba smithing stone five. Uh, but... I guess that wasn't even the one that they told me about. And now I'm scared. I'm scared. Please don't kill me and take my rune arc, Uvu. Alright, I guess it wasn't so scary after all. Then let's recollect the thing. Uh, uh, in the second cavern, head up the wooden platform. And look along the walls on the right to find the stone. Second cavern, head up the wooden platform along the walls on the right. Are you the second cavern? Sorry, my dudes, I'm gonna have to ask you guys for some space because I need that Samba stone. Arr! At the very least, you can tell I was lazy because there's still so much stuff laying around, like more sniffing stones. That looks promising. Hmm. Oh, how do I do it? What? <laughs> hmm. 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 Nothing to be found over here, though. Like, we could consider this the second, uh, thingy, right? In the grass? Praise the grass? Oh, yeah. Head up the wooden scaffolding, right? Yeah. Head up the wooden platform and look along the walls on the right to find the stone. Uh, apparently we're not in the right place after all, because... But this feels like it could be the second cabin. Hmm. Grab poison. Squish. Oh no. Oh, squish. Opium balls. <laughs> Interesting name. Good day to you and thanks for the follow. Guess the stone isn't here either. Let's continue onwards and see if we can maybe find it after all since I was definitely not very uh, thorough on my first run through over here. Where's the Samba Stone, my friends? Where is it? I was promised a Samba Stone. 
Head up the wooden platform on the walls to the right. I mean, this is not really a cavern, so we're probably still waiting for it. Oof. Oh god, I don't want to die, I don't want to fall down and lose my rune arc. Okay. Okay. We're currently with the Batsies. Maybe somewhere here. Item ahead. Precious item, therefore try jumping. Mm-hmm, is that gonna be it? That's the Samba... no. Smithing stone 3, not the Samba Smithing stone 5. Ah. And I was already getting happy, but it also doesn't seem like the right description. But also, uh, how about that? Didn't look at that one either. But also, that's freaking scary. <laughs> Runok, stay with me, please. London special for you, my dear friend. Arr. Ah. Samba Smithing Stone 4. Where's the Samba Smithing Stone 5? I feel like I need that Batman gif where he's screaming at people. Where is it? <laughs> Where's the Samba Stone? That is just a normal smithing stone. Number four. There's still not in caverns again, so this is probably not gonna be it as well. But there's still yet more smithing stones that I didn't pick up. Because my brain is already so on autopilot because this isn't the first time I've been here. Also, let's snipe the Latin singing bat. Plop! <laughs> Our team. There we go. You guys done as well. Thank you very much. Now, let's see. Just gotta keep my eyes open, I guess. Hide them ahead, therefore try jumping. Uh, that's probably not the item I'm looking for, but also... Free item, I guess. Gary. Gary. Let's see what item you are. Golden rune. Oh. Alright. Ah, and more tentacle bros. You gotta be thorough. I want that level 5 Samba sniffing stone. I want it now. So my dragon communion seal can be super strong and tasty. Got that. Maybe here. Ah, oh, maybe here. Uh-huh. But it doesn't really feel like the second cavern. <laughs> I don't feel like any of the description was ever right for the second cavern, but at the very least I'm here on this place that I've never been before. 
So that seems at least uh, could be good. Try running. <laughs> Precious item head. First off, left. Thing stone four. And we have a big, big tentacle bro over there. How about we say hello with a little bit of Akiel's flame? You. Why doesn't this guy move? Let's see. Why what? This thing just heal. Oh, oh, now it moves. Scary. Let's just burn it from afar again, shall we? Yeah, that's that's much nicer for my taste. Goodbye. Sniffing stone frame. Serpent God's curved sword. Interesting. Can you someone get up there maybe? And was there stone or a ladder? No. No, nothing indeed. All right then, guess the search continues. We're almost at the top already again. <laughs> I don't understand their description on that wiki. Just listen to some more beautiful Latin singing. Mm-hmm. That seems new. All right, now that's the way we came from, right? I think so, yeah. How about a little bit of fire? Hehe, <laughs> we didn't have enough mana to finish it, but it was so funny. Our team. Right, this thing can actually use death fire magic or black flame. Wow. Well, I better not freaking die because I underestimate this thing. What the hell? Wow. First time around, I think I just sniped it with a uh, lightning spear and then finished it or something. Now, where's that second cavern these guys have been speaking of? Because I feel like we're, we're, we're done with uh, the Altus Tunnel once again. <laughs> and their description was definitely not helping at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the end of the Altus Tunnels. Ah, right, it wasn't because there's still the boss room left. But if they had a description of where to get this and said second cavern instead of the boss arena, then they are definitely mad. Only a crazy person would not say that it's a boss arena because that's like one of the easiest to remember things. But also, can't seem to find anything around here. Can we fall down here? Try jumping and then rolling. Nah. Nah. No, thank you. No, thank you, but no. The old victory. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. Behold something. Liar. Liar ahead. Boss ahead? What are you talking about? This is literally the end. Hmm. Yes, I'm gonna have to maybe go somewhere else to find uh, some sniffing stone 5. Yeah, the fact that this is taking so freaking long definitely means that 
uh, it is going up to the highest parts together to bring us to the plateau. Let's just take the ride one more time. And meanwhile, I'm trying to read some more stuff where we can have another one. Uh, Nokron, Eternal City. Uh, Altus Plateau, southwest from the Bower of Bounty side of Grace. Still mm. tunnel at the bottom of the chamber of the lift. Spell to the wall to the south of the river. Overgrown rules and a doctor virgin roam in the lower section. North of the earth tree sanctuary side of Grace and uh, Lanedale. Shaded Castle, Redmain Castle. Redmain Castle? Isn't isn't that the one from Rodan? Found on a corpse by the large monument surrounded by chairs on the north of the castle. Ah. Let me see, that sounds very straightforward. What? And you're telling me I didn't see that one when I uh, killed Radan? Now you can definitely note me down as box braining way too hard, if that's actually true. And I didn't see it. Maybe to the right, because I didn't walk there first time? No. Hello, my dude. Maybe outside? No. Uh, what? Where's the sun map for them? There? And here? Can I open the door from here? No. Number Smithing Stone 5. How about that? I never bothered to look around here. <laughs> Alright then. Guess we got that stuff. Time to add the buck to the round table hold and make use of that stuff. And have our dragon communion seal be ever stronger. There we go, Dragon Commune Seal, plus 5, plus 6, plus... Oh, wait, I didn't have one plus 7. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> uh, well, what one may we be able to find a plus 7? I wonder. <laughs> hmm. Volcano Manor. Subterranean Shunning Grounds, Noxtella Eternal City, Lake of Rot, Forbidden Lands, Mountaintops of the Giants, Consecrated Snowfield, Kremlin Pharmacula, Deep Root Depths. Oh, Deep Root Depths is also something we could do, but I guess. Right, Noxtella and Nocron were different things. Uh, well, which one was Noxtella again? I think Nocron was the one. Uh, where we get through Radan's stuff. And then, man, there's still so much stuff everywhere. Oh my god. I guess the smartest thing to do for now is just go to the next Altus tunnel thingies. And, uh, go ahead. And, uh, get the next smithing stone bell bearing. And then maybe we'll have some. Good luck there as well. Wait, Bloodstain, how did you die over here? Dear friend. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Uh, this doesn't look like there's anything to get there. Uh, but interesting choice, my friend. I mean, you only get to discover secrets if you actually try, right? Have a small leap of faith every once in a while. Aim for some hydration. You guys drink something too. Cheers. Alright, I guess we're back again. There are quite a few things here that we can get as well, like a bunch of um, golden seeds as well and stuff like that. Like right in the beginning of uh, the Altus Plateau there's a lot of stuff actually, I feel like. And another church as well. Make our flasks even stronger. I like how these guys are suddenly very nice and courteous. Uh, if you actually made it here with them, like this medallion and the elevator. <laughs> oh, all right. Ah, yes, wasn't here in the ever goal that gives you the, the Godric clone. And then you can get that Godfrey medallion, which increases charged attacks and spells as damage by 15% or something. That's just so good. I'm sure it must work with the dragon breaths as well, since you need to charge them if you uh, want to use them longer than for only one application. All right then, time for a little bit of fun with Mr. Uh, not Godric. The imp's seal is in effect. Oh, I'm gonna have to use, wait, that two? All right, just one stone sword key, all right. One is fine, I guess, because this is like one of the strongest talismans inside the entire game. Archie. All right, oh, we've got that done. I'm going to have some fun. Didn't have enough stamina for more. How about a little rot? Ooh, also deals excellent damage to him. Seems like he doesn't have a lot of physical resistance. How about a tasty dragon mob? Dragon Maw incoming. Ah. I'm not sure why, but it feels like the decay actually was incredibly strong. Not even counting the rot, just the decay itself. I mean, yeah, that breath. <laughs> really got damage. Ah, better not die with my rune arc just because I'm too lazy to use one of my potions. <laughs> kill him with the rot. Oh. oh. I guess we did kill him with the rot. <laughs> Godfrey icon. There we go. And also a respectable amount of runes. Not bad. Not bad at all. But I also want my fourth talisman slot. Uh, where did we get that actually? Wasn't that uh, if we fight the ghost, uh, like the golden ghost of Godfrey or something uh, in Landel? Maybe I'll just speedrun that one so I can use one more talisman slot. <laughs> yeah, enhanced, enhances charged spells and skills by like 15% or so. It's really good.
But also, to be quite honest with you, I'm feeling myself slightly underwhelmed with Grail's Raw so far. Hmm, but maybe it's gonna be much better on some, like, fighting enemies with more uh, HP and stuff, and then the defense down and stuff, stuff like that will actually accumulate much more. Hmm. Well, we're gonna keep trying it and see how it feels. Ah, wait a moment. We still have yet more opportunities for a level up. One endurance. Much appreciated. Feels so freaking good to have the gold scarab. No farming required. You just play the game, you don't skip much, and bam, there you go. Got a million freaking runes. You're literally just playing the game normally and you're still overleveled. <laughs> this is the power of the gold scarab talisman. Don't underestimate the power of the gold scarab, I'm telling you. The power of money. <laughs> That's like saying, like Batman saying that his superpower is being rich. True though. We got some extra nice cavalry over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, time to get to the grace and then give this guy a little bit of tasty. I wonder what he will spawn for us. I totally forgot what the knight's cavalry and uh, the dragon burrow actually gave us. Oh yeah, we're gonna give him some XX. And DK, and then he's gonna rot. That's gonna be great. I love XX DK. Hello there, my friend. How you doing? Would you like to get a little bit of freaking Scarlet Rot? <gasps> oh my god, he's not blighted yet. Let's try this again, shall we? Oh, his, his horse is blighted, but he is not blighted yet. And now, now he's blighted as well. Let's go. Hehe, <laughs> ow. Oh, I was just saying hehe, <laughs> and then he hurt me plenty. Rude. Get staggered and scream dead. And get bloodless or just die because of a uh, freaking. <laughs> it's just good, man. It's just good. 12,000 rooms. Azure War Shared Order. Hmm. Why do we get some holy stuff from a knight's cavalry, man? That seems a little bit strange to me. Hmm. Well. Doesn't matter to us, runes are runes. Let's get that golden seed and then go ahead and also on top of that get the map and uh, another sacred tear from the church. And we're gonna be golden and very happy. There we go. I wonder if we still get an invader here, or if that's only if we do Euros first. Uh, like we still got some evil person over here. Damn, <laughs> Rails Raw has some range actually, not bad. Get freaking Scream Dead and uh, Dragon Breath Dead. Have fun. Map has been found. Beautiful, wonderful, much appreciated. Top.
All right, wait a minute. In order to get the smithing stone bell bearing, I think I'll have to run through quite a bit of stuff. It's getting a little bit late, but uh, a little small adventure is something we can still all get behind for it. Right? <laughs> I'm sure it's, it's gonna be fine. Don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna be fine. We're all comfy up here. Unlike this guy. How team. But also, maybe I'll have to get some revenge on my tree sentinel boys. Hmm. That sounds like good stuff. But I also don't want to die and lose my rune arc. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta be strong and do some cool stuff as well. Otherwise, how are you ever going to have fun? Hello there, my friend. Scream. Wow, both of them got hit by that, actually. That's great. Alright, I'm dealing good damage, but they're also dealing good damage. Ooh. Rune arc was almost gone already. Ouch, ouch. Man, having two of these guys is actually quite spicy. Damn, that was nice. We had both of them. Oh, finish him. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. No, I actually did it. I actually did it and lost my life for Bucker stuff. Uh oh. Well, now, now we gotta kill them without the rune arc. That's just how the game goes. That's the rule. I mean, I just made that rule up, but that's how we're having fun. We're still on heavy load. Uh oh. Heavy. Mad. Alright, we back on mad with that stuff. At the very least, we're not naked in order to get mad load. <laughs> No grey old draw available for me anymore. How about we get close to them with XX DK down? Also, I think I had a freaking scarab over here. Yeah. Right, that's just is that that looks like it's just HP. That was just HP. Even more stuff that my fox ears can perceive. What is it for you up here? Hmm? Ah, there you are. Oh, mana. I see. Well, if we're gonna do this with mana, then oh, what? Well. There we go. Healing time. That feels so silly. Just to make sure we use this efficiently. Oh, a lot of my dirt. Blood proc. Let's go. Oh, okay. He didn't seem to be interested in fighting back a little bit more vigorously. Maybe he doesn't like melee. Maybe he says melee is for noobs. Lol. Do you think I'm gonna fight you in melee? Alright, my dudes, I guess it's on again. Out. Uh, that didn't work. Don't think we have necessarily enough time to actually get this thing out. Also, since we don't get extra hyper armor on top of it, this is a little bit spicy to think about. Hmm.
That was definitely... Oh, ouch. That was definitely ouch. You know what? Uh, I guess it's much more smart to take the... Um, the greys that's behind them and then respawn there. Otherwise, we're just gonna have to walk 10 trillion miles once again. Not smart, Kitsune, but now. From now on, we're gonna be smart about this. Don't worry. The smart will be back. Well, but I don't get hit. Otherwise, you will lose your smart title. Hello, guys. Nice to see you. One of the friends, or was that just uh, something I saw? I probably fox brained it, but I mean, it often happens that like enemies with great AOE hit each other. <laughs> So sometimes maybe there's a chance of the NPCs hitting each other with some small attacks as well. Alright, where are that grey set? Ah, right here. Perfect. Guess we can fight now or maybe not. One more flask and also increase the amount replenished by flasks. Nice. How many do we have now? Like 11? Yeah, we have 11 flasks now. That is, that's a lot actually. Wow. <laughs> Alright, maybe from this side also we can do a little bit of a sneaky attack on them. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. <laughs> We're gonna rot one of them. You, sir, have been rotted. Guess they still have the same moveset. Ouch. I thought I could maybe jump over this. Also, second boy isn't actually uh, in, um, joining the fight, so that's funny, I guess. I can't even see anything, but I still dodged it. Ah, uh, didn't dodge that one, though. You're gonna die to the rot. Yay! Wait, where's the other one? Oh, that's, that's why he didn't join us. Because he was actually walking down. Time for a little bit more rot. Enjoy my dude. Tasty damage. Ouch him. Also slapping me though. <laughs> oh, he can also slap me with his freaking uh What's that even called? His torch. Ah, guess we outmaneuvered each other. Ah, <laughs> the torch. There you go. Enjoy. 24,000 runes. Not bad. Battery great shield and hero's rune. Oh, that's some tasty stuff. Hero's rune is like 50,000 or something else, I think. Alright, and now we should actually be able to make it towards the, yeah, the one tunnel that gives us uh, the bell bearing. Also, I want to see, I think there's like an earth tree seal or something like that over here. But since it looks like a church, maybe we'll also get a sacred tier. I'm not sure, but it would be nice.
missionaries cookbook and oh golden order seal but no no uh sacred tear i see it's a shame so it wasn't the earth tree but the golden order seal we got here all right we've got more stuff let's put uh mind and endurance mind and endurance but also i should get arcane higher as well at some point my super high damage won't even be that super high anymore compared to what we're going up against uh -oh. mm -hmm. but having 30 mind sounds like very comfy but uh let's go with a little bit of arcane over here Splat. And down here in this little canyon we'll be able to find that cave and then the bell bearing and then we're gonna be able to update our sword to as high as it can get for now I would say. Probably plus uh, 18 or something like that, I imagine. Let's see, right, oh, this scarab actually takes a long journey, damn. Leave me alone, mosquito. Oh, disgusting snails on now. Now, damn it, I wanted to use a heavy strike so I could like leave my sword down there so the enemy could just run into that. I mean, the scarab. Um, but now that didn't work out, did it? Alright, and maybe going back here. Yeah. Ah. Oh. No! How, how did that not work this time though? Damn it. I'm just gonna get rid of these guys so I don't have to be scared anymore. There you go. Now we're gonna wait for Mr. Scarab to return. There we go. Hash of War Prayerful Strike. That is actually one of the really strong um, Ashes of War in my opinion because you're gonna get so much uh, healing from that as well. Like it deals good damage and it heals you as well. So to have both of these things at the same time, it's like a little bit uh, similar to Rikard's Blades, Ash of War. Just, I mean, obviously not as strong because it doesn't have as much AOE and range, but it's still really good in my opinion. Everything that stacks healing and damage at the same time is just really nice. Whole lifesteal experience. Alright, it looks like we're finally here. And to get our bell bearing. Sealed tunnel. Alright. I remember reading about the sealed tunnel while looking for a smithing stone 5. <laughs> yeah, smithing stone 7 is not gonna be in here though. Smithing stone minus bell barring too. Much appreciated, my friends. Let's see. Can you find anything tasty in here? Swingstone 5. Bet these guys don't even give a lot of stuff. I think there was another hidden way somewhere around here. Ah, there we go. 
Because if we're in a cave, might as well go and down that bus. Oh, that was tasty stuff up there. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna get it. Don't you worry. Not even a Samba one. Hmm. Could be a level 5 Samba smithing stone. <laughs> that one I uh, was definitely fasting for not too long ago. Yeah. No, no, it's just a normal, um, uh, normal smithing stone. Not a Samba one. That would have been too much funny for one person. Oh boy. Didn't remember there was so much stuff in here actually. And so many ways to go as well. Fall back out, fall foot. More of them boys. All of them will get blood split. Oh, I don't know which what I wanted to use. Blood splattered? Probably, maybe. Oh. We have them explodey boys. Moving stone five. Grace mimic. Imagine that. Oh. How team? Any <laughs> sniffing stone acquired? I don't even know which boss is waiting down here, so I'm definitely interested to see what is going on. Since for a really long time, I think I've just ran down here, picked up the bell bearing, and then, well, that was that. <laughs> oh, ah, I see. I think we just have this, uh, another one of these gravity boys over here. Nothing's, nothing quite, uh, that engaging. Onyx Lord. We're just gonna bite them and jump them. Club and London special um, splurt I love having the freaking hyper armor on this ability if you know you're stronger you can just go ahead tank that hit and tell him yeah what, whatever dude <laughs> have fun 19,200 runes for this one I see now why I skipped it so many times. <laughs> Divine Tower of West Altus. Tightly blocked shut. Guess we can't do anything over here. But we're so close to the artery, that's really cool. Actually reaching into the water. No, I thought about that. Isn't this rumored to be the place where the DLC Shadow of the Earth Tree is supposed to happen? Like this entire plateau that's drowned in water was at some point maybe actually all of this land that has been then sent to the shadows. Hmm. Sounds cool. You can actually get maybe to the roots of the earth tree that way. I'm gonna look forward to that. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the Elden Ring DLC Shadow of the Earth Tree. I'm at the very least, like, one weapon I'm really looking forward to is that they're gonna introduce a bigger, heavier katana. <laughs> and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how that moveset looks since uh, I've been a big great sword enjoyer since in my opinion it's a really nice in between between the colossal weapons 
And the smaller swords has enough stagger, but it's not so terribly cripplingly slow, which just um, messes up my brain. And that's why I like them a lot. And I wonder if maybe in the heavy katana won't be in a similar spot or one that is close to that. I would appreciate that a lot because I like the look of that as well. Now, guess we're just going to appreciate the view a little bit over here. And then it's going to be goodbye for today. Just a decently long stream today because... I wanted to, and because Elden Ring is a good game. <laughs> ah, look how beautiful the dragon eyes are glimmering. Ah, wonderful. Right. Let's let it be that for today. 18 hours now played with me as a me. <laughs> Level 87. <laughs> the leveling is crazy. I just gotta go back and praise the gold scarab once more every single time. Anyways, enough of that for today. And we're going back to the lobby. And then we're going back and showing off kimono because everybody can appreciate some beautiful kimono as always. So, mm -hmm. let's see, let's see. Tomorrow... Oh, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Wednesday. Probably going to play a little bit more Helldivers since new stuff is happening and I want to be involved in the narrative on what's happening. <laughs> so I'm maybe gonna take a look at that. Um, and uh, going forward then uh, we'll see. I mean, as always, my schedule is always... Uh, I'll see what I want, would like to play today, and then uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> and maybe, I don't know, maybe some evil dragon hunters will uh, attack me and then I can't stream tomorrow. We'll see. Stuff sometimes happens, but we'll do our best to come back and continue the happy times and comfy times in the stream. So, the only thing left to look at is now. Um, what... Outro music are we going to use? Aha, uh -huh. let me just quickly go through my library and see if there's something I would find fitting for Elden Ring to be chill in the spot, but also kinda mysteriously nice. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm hmm But that work, I'm not so sure, actually. You know what? I think we're just going to go with one of my favorite chill lo-fi songs, and that's gonna be that then. <laughs> so, I'm gonna say thank you guys so much for watching today. Long stream, long watching time. Thank you for following me around and spending some time with me and hopefully I'll see you guys again very soon and in good health and high spirits so you can have some more fun with all of these nice games so see you very soon take care and uh, good night